What's up team? We're back. This time with Pentiment. Standing here as always to block my gamer tag. I will get that fixed eventually. Um but let's go ahead and continue. I think last time we were on oh, we bring some water. This is a little bit fucky. Let me, uh, let me move back down. But I was, as I was saying, uh, last time, prior, prior for rank was set up for the murder. Apparently he might not have even done it. I still feel vindicated in my assessment. But we were, we were blacklisted that we couldn't come back to the Abbey ever again. Because the head dude did not like us after that. And we've now come back to pay respects to Brother Guy. Not Brother Guy, Brother Hero. Who seems to have passed along with a bunch of other people in the time we were gone. Like, every child from that era is dead except for Michelle. Michelle. Uh, Martin. What? We've got three hours. The game's apparently like 13 hours long, and we've gone over that, so... Let's see if we can finish it today. Not that I dislike the game, I just like to fit something else into this thing's slot. I wonder if the smoker is still there. No wait, no, yeah, I already know. He's there and he also doesn't want to fight with the people because the people don't give a shit about him. Which I feel. Good morning, Mistress Mullen. Good morning, Master Mailer. My husband has been talking about your arrival. We're pleased you've done so well for yourself. Thank you. I see the mill's been doing well. All the fame has only brought more toil. I've been traveling almost non-stop. We didn't seem so interest he didn't seem so interested me in me last time I was here. Just people. Pleasant. Well, 
Glenhard works relentlessly to keep it in good condition. Sure he does. He's very proud of it. It's uh, unique in these parts, inspired by the designs used in the north. So it's very profitable too. That's important to Lenhart. Who is this young man? Gaspar, my apprentice. Hello, mistress. Man. You must be my darling Paul. Oh, you must meet my darling Paul. I would love to, to meet someone his age pursuing art. Just not where Lenhart could see. Yes, Kaspar and Paul have been introduced. I'm certain they would get along well. It's very good to hear. Paul does not have many friends with similar interests. They are not easy to come by. He does not have many friends in general. And we'll figure something out. Only if you were also to attend. Master Mailer, please do not be inappropriate. Lenhart will not take it well. I'm sorry I must get back to work. Till later, Master Mailer. Till then. He didn't say she didn't want to. Just the thought. Also... Uh... One sec. For some reason, I was looking up into the to the right a lot. No reason. I had to fix it. Hello, Master Mailer. Which low, Andreas? Master Andreas to you, loser. You'll never be a master of your craft like me. Thomas, God bless you, Andreas. Pickens. Truckers. Magdalene, right, right. Yeah, this dude, his wife and his son died. I wonder if I would have been able to prevent that if I hadn't been sent off. Klaus. Hello, Andreas. Damn. Does not want to speak to me. Lucky morning, Andreas. Stein hours. They lost their grandson. Agnes. Unfortunately, it's still at Martin. He didn't die. What am I supposed to do here? Actually. Maybe I go to the, the farm? I gotta go to the library, right? Oh, well, Andreas, because they want me to buy a book. I wonder if I'll see the Denna there. Maybe that was something for chapter 2. I unfortunately skipped chapter 2 because of the decisions I made. Ulrich, God bless you, Andreas. God bless you, Ulrich. How have you been? The Lord has been kinder to me than the peasants. These are difficult times for them, Andreas. They could use your help. My help? How? Talk to the abbot. He may respect your opinion for the minor the peasants. I strongly disagree. I would have hoped he could see that his behavior is not Christian, but something is clouding his judgments. Not exactly in Father Gurno's good graces, that's what I'm saying. 
Not even listen to anything I had to say. We must try, Andreas. These men are fair and hardworking, but they've been pushed down for too long. They're becoming desperate, and desperate men can forget their faith and turn to violence. Don't really come to that, will it? What if violence is the only language the abbot understands? When a man can't keep his family fed, he can only keep that pain inside for so long. Make no mistake, peasants hold Father Gurno responsible for their lot. There is fire in their hearts, we must pray for rain. I don't know the abbot's business, but if he's doing this for money, I may not be able to persuade him. We can only hope that love for his fellow man holds greater sway in his heart than the desire for gold. Thank you, and God bless you, Andreas. Anna, no longer rolling on the floor. Brett. Apparently she still makes good ray. Who we'll put it past her? Smith, Hendris, Yes, Fabian, and Carl. Who the fuck are they? Anton and Till weren't here last time either. There's Otto and Seth. I think old Otto died. But yeah, they're married now and they have a kid. Eva. Lahora. Andreas. So Otto, sign from God. Alright. What's up, Saren? Been alert since been ahead to the shower. Let's see you playing Punchman again. Yeah. I think. I think I'm close to done, but good to see you here. We'll be back after. Alright. I don't think I'll be going anywhere. Found something just a few days ago. This will sound crazy, but I found found St. Moritz's head. Have a good shower. Ed, are you sure? You're right, that does sound crazy. Well, believe it, because it's true. Alright, I can't say anything more until St. John's Day. Then everyone will know. Who else knows about this? Only those who need to know. And you, of course. You lucky? The head would be like the cave. Rot it away. Maybe if it's wearing, like, holy armor, but... You probably just found a murder victim, Otto. Absolutely, maybe I will on St. John's Day when I see all what all the fuss is about. Absolutely. Good. Until later, Andreas. Until later, Otto. Seth, don't know who you are. Church of Treppers, that's where I just came from. Team Bower House is locked up. Two up to two in the fields. Well, Andreas. Cat. Perchita. I don't know why I keep checking this house like there's gonna be someone there. John Bower Farm. Monica, Hetty. Hans, Johan, Johan Bauer, not. Yeah, what is it, John? Peter, Big Yorg. Hello, Andreas. Hello again, Yorg. Sorry about dinner the other night. Dad got a little heated. I was trying to keep his dignity, I understand. Aspar didn't mean to insult your family. Thanks, Andreas. Dad's always been able to provide for us, but now... Well, things are different now. That's why Otto's making his speeches. Klaus is printing the 12 articles. Change is coming to tassing, Andreas. May the winds of fortune blow your way, Jorg. I really think you can make a difference. I hope you're right for your sake. 
Thanks. I'll see you later, Andreas. Till then. No, I've seen how this goes. They will die. Where are Hello, Andreas. Ursula. Hail Peter. Are you ready, boy? Have a mask made? Huh? St. John's Eve, you need a mask to help the wild hunt scare off the evil spirits. Mr. Andreas, what is he talking about? Don't know of Perchta? Who do they even teach you these days? Wild Hunt won't bother us, Kaspar. They don't come after faithful Christians. Don't mind El Peter, Kaspar. He's making up stories. The Wild Hunt is a pagan myth, Kaspar. Maybe they'll take that bastard Abbot while they're here then. A perch to addle his mind and give him brain rot for stopping the old traditions. Why not just pray to the saints? Take it easy, old man. It's just one festival. The saints? What good will the saints do? The abbot has already kept us from appealing to St. Moritz. Who else can we call upon but Perchta, when the church keeps us from God? You want to learn more, boy? Come find me at the bonfire when the time is near. You wish. Until later, El Peter. Ursula's gonna grow up to be a pagan. Unfortunate. Did everything I can do at the house. See if I can't go into the wilds then. Well, not the wilds, but the forest. Is there gonna be any wilds near the church? Oh. Tilia. You, you're the artist that came here a few years ago, in the time of the murder. Yes, I'm Andreas Mailer. True. Came to pay my respects to Brother Piero at the Abbey. One of the monks? I'm not too fond of the Holy Brothers or Sisters, the lot of them. You work for Father Thomas? Work for? I'm his slave. Clean this damn church and keep his house so I have a roof over my head. Around the time the bar was up, the Baron was murdered. I lost my home. That bastard, the abbot, took it from me. Now I have to rely on the charity of the church. I hate the church as much as the abbey. I wish there were a hell. But send a lot of these holy men there. That's Tom Father Thomas lets you stay here. I understand. You don't. You can't. No matter. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Fine. Labyrinth symbolize. It symbolizes the labyrinth that's gonna appear here later. It's gonna lead me to the murderer. I guarantee it. But, uh. The forest. Smokey's hut. Not smoky. Nothing. Let's be fucking prattle on. Alright, they can't fish, so. Old, well, Old Otto's dead. He wouldn't be here anyways. But they can't fish without being taxed for it, so it's no point. Maybe on, uh, St. John's Day, whatever that saint's name was. Old dude's not here anymore. This house is empty. Probably can't get into this dude's house. I can. Abbott House. Sure, no. Bless you, Andreas. Yeah, I believe that. 100%. Bro, bliss. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully they didn't punish what's his face. The uh voodoo -doo help me numbers are growing quickly. I'm sure whatever isn't eaten will be pickled. The animal dude. But just the be a little more organized. Let's go back to the front. Okay, Convent Garden. All the sisters still here? Marguerite? Go blind? Hello, who's there? Hello, Sister Marguerite. It's Andreas Mailer, the artist. Oh, Master Mailer, Mother Illuminata said you'd returned. There's someone else with you. Yes, my apprentice, Kaspar. Hello. God bless you, Kaspar. You smell even more paint than your master. Uh... Mr. Marguerite is blind. She relies on her other senses, Kaspar. 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 Thank you? You're funny. Anyway, I should go. Mother Illuminata doesn't like it when we're distracted from our duties. Of course, it's a later sister. God bless you, Master Mailer. You too, Gaspar. A Spanger. Staying there for the rest of your life. Fever few it always smells so fresh. Virus. That's something I can interact with later. No, that's just a fucking What's it called? Not crochet. Forgot what it's called. Figure it out later. Embroidery? I think that's it. Guy. Andreas? Brother Guy, what are you doing out here? Brother Kruno has asked me to inform the townsfolk that the shrine is closed. Closed with everything going on? Whatever for? Father Abbot has ordered that we bring the hand into the church. The pilgrims are still welcome to come in and visit the relic, but it is off-limits to the townsfolk. What? Why? The abbot has had enough of the peasants and townsfolk rebelling against the abbey. He is the rightful lord. Their rightful lord. The abbot has been more than generous, but he will not let his twelve articles of tribal pass. This twelve articles tribal pass. The abbot refuses the relic. And I keep skipping words. The abbot refuses to leave the relic at risk of destruction. The hand of Saint Moritz is the only thing keeping the abbey open. See, how long will the shrine stay closed? The tassing. But tassing relies on Saint Moritz just as much as the abbey. What about the faith of the townsfolk? But this is about money. The pilgrims bring donations, but the townsfolk don't. Is punishing the towns further? Don't be a fool, Mailer. Without the abbey, the shrine can't be kept in good condition, and it would be looted. The abbot is trying to protect the relic, nothing more. Why is so fucking gullible? How do you get like this? What about the peasants' complaints? I somehow doubt that's the only thing on his mind. No one wants to destroy this hand of St. Moritz guy. The abbot is a cruel man, and you're no better defending him. I will do my duty as my vows and my lord command me, Andreas. God bless you. Shut up, loser. Hope you get murdered next. Probably will. Hammer the fucking... The father. Infirmary. Is he still working here? He is, Florian. Chris Mailer, how wonderful to see you. You been well? Well enough, yes. Good. You look healthy. What brings you back here? I wanted to pay my respects to Brother Piero. Of course, I'm sorry, Andreas. Now it's a small consolation, but he lived a long life with little pain. He died quite suddenly during the clouds. Master Gower at dawn, one of the two major hours that's used for the morning prayer. He was well loved by everyone here, even those who might pretend otherwise. I'm sure he appreciates the gesture. As for your visit, I cannot speak with the abbot's authority, but you are always welcome company. How is your Italian coming along? 
I don't know. It's not too bad. I've been reading every Italian medical text Klaus Strucker can get his hands on. Really? How many is that? I haven't counted, but many. Leon Aseno's text on the French disease, which might have been helpful for the Baron all those years ago. The Facilius Medic Medicinae. New printing from Venice. Wonderful woodcuts. Oh, the Flower of Medicine from Salerno. Sal Salerno? Salerno? You know they've translated it into Hebrew. Alcatan? Imagine that. Imagine a peasant in the fields of province, reading the medical wisdom of Salerno. Why are you speaking in woodcuts? Imagine that. Why are you speaking in fucking... I guess because his homie's teaching him. Imagine a Polish, Polish mercenary doing it. Really remarkable. What use would a peasant have for the medical wisdom of Salerno? I don't need to imagine it. What a wonder these books are. I got carried away. Anyway, it's good to see you, Andreas. Until later. Till then. Hmm. Monastery Aquarium. Right. Expect the chapter house. I haven't been. I haven't been in the chapter house. Not right now. Where the Baron was murdered. Factory. Big ass kitchen. Kitchen and cellar. A slav. God bless you, Andreas. Welcome back to Curso. What brings you back to the Abbey? Turning to Nuremberg, but wanted to just... I wanted to pay my respects to Brother Piero on my way. Of course. As great as well kept, I assure you. Thank you, Brother Waslav. I'm glad to hear it. At least the Abbey's done that much. Will you be staying in Tassing long enough for St. John's Eve Festival? Maybe simple compared to those in the cities, but everyone in Tassing looks forward to it. Really, Master Andreas? Can we? Really only an extra day or two, why not? Don't know, Kaspar, I have a lot of work to get back to. A lot of work to get back to. Never keeps me another day from that bloated aristocrat and his commission. Consider it, Andreas. I know you must be busy, but it would be lovely to have you. It's quite quaint compared to what you're used to, but it's one of Tassing's biggest events. Anyway, I better get back to work. Good to see you again, Andreas. God bless you. God bless you, brother with love. Lucas? Looking as bald as ever. God bless you, Master Mailer. Bless you, brother Lucas. How have you been? Still working in the kitchen? Yes, I'm still assisting brother with love. I've been making more complex dinners recently for Father Gurno. The rest of the brothers eat simpler fare, but the abbot has the privilege of foods from around the world. How does the abbot need such fancy foods? Well, he's... he's the... abbot. Father Waslav says the abbot always gets the best. He said Father Matthias was odd because he ate the same food as the rest of the brothers. I don't mind it, though. I've been learning a lot of new ways to cook recently. Oh? What are you cooking now? Oh, I, uh... Brother Waslav sent me to collect something for him, but I can't remember what it was. Something from the cellar, perhaps? I don't have time to help you right now. Probably. There's so much in there, though. Maybe if I bring back a few onions, he'll be happy. We always need more onions. Maybe to it, then. I didn't want to go here. Check out the cellar. What are they hiding down there? 
Perhaps a murder weapon? Plague rat. That's a... Feed the cat. And now it won't be hungry enough to fight against the rats. I guess cats kill for fun, they don't kill to hunt. Back to the cloister. Um, there's an up in the laboratorium. Not washing your hands, Andreas, come on. Dormitory, cemetery. I'm gonna do everything I can before I go to the... The, uh... Library. Rude here. Booster, crypt, tower. Andreas? Oh, it's wonderful to see you again. How have things gone for you in Nuremberg? I've actually been in Krakow recently. Nuremberg is wonderful though. Nuremberg is the same as it always is. I'm not looking forward to going back. Glad to hear it. Forgive me for asking, but how did you find the music in Krakow? Excellent. King Sigismund and the Archbishop of Wawel are patrons, ensembles, and host foreign musicians at court. Why do these sound like joke names? That is wonderful to hear. Heard Krakow is a beautiful city. I am glad they are making beautiful music as well. I love our music, of course, but I am interested in what is being created across Christendom. I suppose you came to pay respects to Brother Piero. I am so sorry, Andreas. He was a wonderful man and a faithful servant of Christ. That he was. He was my friend and teacher. Well, despite the occasion, it is good to see you again. God bless you, Andreas. Let's go to the crypt first. Cannot sneak up. Yeah. Perhaps in a new playthrough. Nothing I can do here. Elves. To a door, Matthew will not speak to me. Or oh, Bailey. Um, not going there yet. Of course, I can't go down there. Dorm. Oh, there's one more thing down here, I think. Actually, like two. For the animal pens and the, the cemetery. How do I get out? Too much. Let me out. Large burden. If dude's still here, or if he got punished because of what I made him do, well, he's still here. The Bulkert. Oh, Master Andreas. It's been so long. Seven years. It's good to see you, Brother Volkert. How are you? I'm well. I'm a monk now. Brother Lucas, too. He'll do the same work, but now I have the same robes as the other brothers. The abbot been treating you well? Yes, he has. The work is hard, but I am happy. Good to hear. I'll leave you to your work, brother. God bless you, Master Andreas. I think Volkert's doing something. I can't go there. I get it off my screen. Let me out. What are these? This is the menus? Cemetery. Oh, 
Oh, Cecilia. Oh, Kira. Rest in peace, my old friend. And Cecilia's dead. Kind of forgot about that. Oyster. Oh, Bailey. Yep. Only place we have left. Turn into the Prior's house real quick. Maybe you've got some occult beads. Nope. This is the new Prior. Adoc. Hello? Who is this? Andreas, brother Adoc. Master Mailer. Oh. Oh, Andreas, a fine young artist from Nuremberg. Not quite so young anymore, brother. Oh, you are still young. When you were last here, I thought I was old. I was wrong. Now I feel the true measure of years on these bones. Like the waves of the wide sea on the cliffs of Forth Cragen, time has worn me down. But enough of that. How have you been, Andreas? That has blessed me with good fortune. I have been well, thank you. Best in body, if not in spirit. Good. Be sure to share it with others when you are able. I'm more at ease now than when I was last year. Do I? It may be so. I may have worked in the scriptorium beyond the limits of this body. It pained my joints and strained my brotherly love for Guy. The scriptorium took my sight and the use of my hands. But when it closed, it also took the pain from my heart. The abbot is content to let me serve the Lord through prayer and contemplation. And so it also contents me. I'm sorry, Andreas, but I must rest now. It was good to hear your voice at Kursau again. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Adok. I was talking about him like he was... Well, worse... Like... Super worse person than Prior Ferenc. I'm sorry I fell into disrepair quickly after Father Gurno closed the library. But Dana... What are you doing out here? Greetings, Master Mailer. Hello, Sister Zadena. Looking like a real artist now. I'm impressed. You must be living like a lord. Lord who's strapped down with obligations to others. Between my wife and my patrons, I'm miserable. Yes, but overburdened with my problems. I have no time for my own art, only that of my patrons. Not particularly. I have to travel all over for my patrons. It's been difficult with the revolts. Um... You don't know anything about misery. You get to choose what you do with your life. Why don't you like living at Kirsau, sister? Not the only one with troubles, you know, as bitter as ever, I see. Ask her about her problem. Not like you, Andreas, I never chose this life. My family couldn't marry me off to anyone of higher rank, so they donated me to the Abbey. The amount was substantial enough for the Abbey to take me in as a nun. I was forced to take the habit. I loved my life before you so. At least you chose your vocation. I was shoved into mine and forgotten. Here you are, muttering as though you aren't the most successful person in Tassing right now. You've no idea, I'm sorry. Is that why you dislike Mother Illuminata so much? So you flout and disrespect the rest of the sisters, I see. You're lucky to have the life you do, Andreas Mailer. You men can be whatever you like. While I, a woman of noble birth, am forever stuck sitting with crones and old men. I've accepted a lot most these pa I've accepted a lot these past years, but I can never be as perfect as Illuminata. Still, it's better than it was. I should return to my duties. Thank you for speaking with me, Andreas Mailer. Till later, Sister Zadena. Library, don't gotta go through the back now. This is completely fucked. Maybe there's some hidden loot at the top of the tower. Is this light still broken? No. It is fixed. The light's fine. Can't reach those. This one, however... This one is broken. How do you fix the bottom one and mess this one up? Come on. 
I paid zero dollars for this game. I'm at this light. That's fine. Illuminata. God bless you, Andreas. It has been too long. I know Father Abbott made it clear you were not to return when you left, but we've had hope to hear from you. Yes, my apologies. You're right, of course. Good to see you again, Mother Illuminata. This is my apprentice, Kaspar Ziegler from Salzburg. Good day, Mother Illuminata. This is my apprentice, Kaspar Ziegler from Salzburg. God bless you, Mother Superior. God bless you, young Kaspar. Master Mailer. It's good to see you, sister. You as well. Sorry you have to be in such a state. Sees very little use these days. What happened? After Baron of Vogel's murder, we had fewer and fewer wealthy patrons. A small number that held... A small number that held out lost interest. It's easier to commission new work from the Guild of St. Luke. Individual masters in big cities like Nuremberg. Father Gurno saw no reason to keep the scriptorium or library open. Most of the books here have been suffering of neglect. After Mother Cecilia's death, neither I nor Sister Zidana had the time to maintain our inventory. That's terrible. Kirsel was one of the last monastic scriptoria in Bavaria. Hero did say it was going to happen sooner or later. I would have guessed it was unprofitable years ago. Not wrong. Without patrons like Baron Rothvogel, even Father Matthias would have been forced to close the scriptorium. His brother Piero was fond of saying, all things change in time. Now all that remains are books for sale to in the interested parties, a task that Father Gurno has entrusted to me. Zidena. And Sister Zidena, of course. But I'm eager to look through your inventory. I don't even know where to start. Master Andreas, maybe you could find a book for Little Magdalene, something that's not in print yet. Excellent idea, Kaspar. Now she looks bored as hell. Read. Marzival, perhaps Klaus would not object to this romance given its emphasis on Christian virtues. The German is a little dated, but I'm sure she'll figure it out with Klaus's help. Who knows, maybe it will inspire her imagination. Need uppies. Read? Huh? I think these are Latin translations of some Oregon homilies? Some of Oregon? Oregon, prolific first century ascetic and theologian, best known for his exit medical writings and homilies influenced the development of the Trinity and the Ransom Theory of Atonement. Also, it looks like it's partially burned. Probably not a great gift for a young... Wait. This is the same bookhand as the notes I found when the Baron was murdered. Whoever wrote this is responsible for writing the notes. I need to ask Illuminata about this. More reads. You have Jacobus for hands, the golden legend. Every good Christian should know the legends of the saints. And the Latin is simple enough that she should be able to read it before long. Oh, Richard de Bury's Bill Bill Bible. Who are you, Richard de Bury, a 13th century English priest and later Bishop of Durham? Richard de Bury was one of the first private book collectors and is best known for the Philo... Philo... Philo Biblon, which prescribed the care of his collection. Text on the collection and preservation of books. Maybe this is where Luminata and Cecilia learned all their tricks. Certainly a good book for a printer's daughter. But what if she doesn't want to be a printer's daughter? Plus, it's not like they keep the books. Albertus Magnus de Anima... Fuck this writing, bro. Renowned 13th century Dominican theologian, philosopher, astrologer, and bishop of Reg... 
Regensburg, a prolific writer, he was known primarily for his work on Aristotle, his knowledge of natural science. Animalibus. Ostensibly a bestiary, but it contains so much more knowledge on a variety of topics. It's good inspire an interest in animals and the natural world. Beautiful illustrations as well. I don't see any illustrations. You're just capping about those drawings. Alright, Illuminata. You decided on any books to purchase? Yes, just one. Why just one? I want multiple. I guess the, uh, the burned book doesn't count. So that's the animal bestiary thing. Golden Legend is the Christian Legends. Philo Biblion is Biblon. A preservation of books. Cars of all is a romance. She's a kid, she won't care about romance. Maybe she will, but I don't know. Golden Legend. Maybe he doesn't give a shit about Christian legends. Philip Biblion. Might make him happy, but it'll maybe not be interesting to the kid. Curtis Magnus. Maybe she likes animals. He likes the cat. I'll get her the animal book. Contains a wealth of knowledge. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Josh Drucker's daughter Magdalene will. Latin may pose a challenge for her, but I'm sure with persistence she can overcome it. Is there anything else you need? Yes, Mother Illuminata, what do you know about this book? I don't know anything. This is the first time I've seen it, where did you find it? I've seen it on one of the lower shelves, I don't think it's in our catalog. It's burned around the edges, why? I'm gonna find out where it came from, who wrote it? If it's not in our catalog, I'm afraid I don't know who we could ask. It was a recent addition, the only people who would know are Mother Celia and Father Matthias. Right, and I didn't bring any books for summoning. That's a shame, because whoever scribed this book wrote letters I found while investigating the Baron's murder. The ones in the fine book and Brother Adok told me about them. Perhaps he knows something about this book. He's been here longer than any of us. That's it. How would the person who wrote the letters have scribed a book in our library? Well, that's the question. Whoever did it is the thread puller. Huh? Someone who is manipulating people like yourself and Tassing. Pulling at threads to provoke someone into killing the Baron. Not one of the brothers killed the Baron. He did, but the Baron was lured to the chapter house by someone who knew Kirsel and Tassing's secrets. Well, I'm afraid we can't be of any more help to you in determining the book's provenance. However, as it's not in our catalog and it's already damaged, I doubt Father Abbott would mind if he kept it. Excellent. Thank you. Glad someone bothered to save it from the flaws. Flames. Luminata. See Andreas. There's probably nothing here. Eat the Druckers. The dinner. I'm going to assume there's not much else I can do. I wish there was just some shit on the fucking map. Because, like, a majority of my time in this game is spent wandering around looking for people to talk to. Like, there's something in the Drucker house, but also an outer tassing. That might just be the Drucker's house, honestly. Like, last time I was wandering around and I found a fucking... Found that the gravestone was disturbed. And I wouldn't have seen that unless I had ran through here. There might have been, like, no other way to go around it, but... Uh, there also might have been... So... 
There's a lot of stuff you can miss in this game. I'm sure it's one of those where nearly every playthrough will be different. It's not what I expected when I was when I put this shit on the schedule to play it. I didn't think it would be this long. How long to be set 13 hours? Lied out its fucking teeth. Not 13 hours. Why is it Matthew up there? Not gonna invite me to eat with you guys? Come on. That dude's gone. All of them are gonna be eating. Except... This dude. Why wasn't he? No, he was there. Why aren't you eating, guy? Just to keep the shrine off limits. Priorus. I thought Zadena, or not Zadena, Cecilia was this bit. God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, Sister Lizbeth. Working for Mother Illuminata, very different from working with Mother Cecilia. Yeah, Illuminata is. My duties remain the same, regardless of who the Prioress is. You are very devoted to the Prioress, sister. Surely you've noticed some changes. Don't tell me you haven't noticed any differences, sister. You were Mother Cecilia's assistant for so long, don't you want to become Prioress? Didn't you want to become Prioress? Mother Illuminata prefers a warmer room. I maintain the hearth in her room throughout the night. That's incredibly considerate, sister. May it bring glory to God. I must return to my duties. God bless you, Master Mailer. And you, sister. We did have a pause there. Maybe Illuminato's doing some shit. Fuck you, Mouse Fanger. God bless you, Andreas. Welcome back to Curcell. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. Alley of Tassing seems to know I'm here. Or all of Tassing. You're a big man in a small town, Andreas. Word travels fast. Besides, Mousefanger tells me everything that goes on in Curcell. Who's Mousefanger? A convent cat and an excellent rat catcher. He's always wandering about. Let's hear sometime, Caspar. Excellent gossip too, it seems. Don't ruin my fun, Andreas. Till later, sister. Bless you, Andreas. Bless you, Caspar. Just a cat loser. Fine, one pit. We'll never be doing this again, so enjoy it while you can, Mouse Fangry. Aquarium. I wonder why this is here. Like, obviously, so that it's there, but... You can't do much with it. Why is it there? From a gameplay perspective. Why let you walk in there? Maybe it had something to... Like, some role to play in Chapter 2. Is the house. There's Drucker's. Or St. Merritt's probably is. No one here. Smokey, let's see you, Master Mailer. Let's see you. Eating some rabbits, getting taxed for it. Hello. Golden hand in. Can't even see the golden hand. What a fucking lie. Shut up, Elsa again. Never mind. Man heart. Nope. Nothing here. Omas. Nope. Ilya. Of course not. Literally, how long have I spent on this? Yeah, Martin. I'm gonna. Maybe go down here. Oh, Brigitte. I was gonna say I'm not even gonna bother with her. But... 
been out that way anyways. This is not the people I need to beat with, so I might as well try to talk to them. Peter. Big Yord, Lotus. Lara. Why didn't I get a book for Ursula? Well, she, she can't read. She has no reason to be able to read. Incorrect. That's it. M2s. Zimmermans. Auto set. What about in the central town? I gotta stop doing this. I really gotta stop searching. This needs up so much time. And it never amounts to anything. It's literally just the druckers. Damn it. There's no one in there anyways. What about you twos? Anything? Warner? Nope. Balthazar? Nope. Medicine Cop? Trucker House. Boom. Who the fuck are you? Magdalene. I guess that's his patrons. You're back. Good. We're almost ready to sit down to eat. Would you and Kaspark get to join us? Of course. Thank you, Klaus. Welcome back, Andreas. Gaspar. Andreas, these are my friends. Benjamin and Rachel Sommerfeld. They're on their way back to Prague. Good day. Hello. Excuse me for get not getting up. It's a bit difficult. Of course, I understand. It's nice to meet you both. Hello. Hello. Damn. Sounds like a real word, Klaus. He's learning more of them every day. She'll be reading before long. A wonderful segue to the gift that I've brought her. Oh? Consider it a small apology. Book from the Abbey Library. When's her birthday? Well, alright, let's see this small apology. Here you are. Albertus Magnus, the Animablius. Andreas, she's only two years old. You can read it until she's ready. I'm sure she'll learn quickly in a printer's house. Thanks for this, it's a nice thought. We would probably pray before we eat, assuming the Sommerfelds don't mind. Not at all. We're accustomed to being guests in Christian homes. Thank you for sake. Asking close. Alright, I'll lead the prayer then. Oh, so they're pagans. Bless us, or they're Jewish? They could be anything. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen, Am. Amen. Klaus, thank you again for letting us stay here. It's been such a long trip. Oh. Is it time? I, no, I'm fine, I think. I just was sore everywhere. Anyway, we'd hope to get home weeks ago, but the fighting has made it slow progress from Basil. Is your home in Prague? Basil, testing is hardly on the way to Prague. Has the fighting come close? Yes, we run a print shop there. Have you ever been to Bohemia? Good. Yes, I spent most of my time in Poland in the last few years, but we visited Bohemia occasionally. I can't read that, bro. Did you learn any sketch? A little, yes. Rochu Anno. Excellent. I don't think I've ever heard that language before. It's, just, it's Chech. 
never, if you've never spent time with Bohemians, you wouldn't have heard it. Benjamin, it's not polite to speak another language in the presence of someone who can't understand it. Yes, dear. Oh, I don't mind. I'm just happy to see you. Good fortune that you all wound up visiting us at the same time. Tessing hasn't seen this many artists under one roof in a while. Artist? It's amazing to see how far printing has come so quickly. Some of the engravings I've seen are incredible. Well, the skills for printing and painting are not that similar. Been working on it. What have you been working on, Brady? New techniques, new types, new styles are being developed every year. Benjamin is trying to create a more readable script for Yiddish. We have typefaces for Hebrew, but it would be nice to have something separate for Yiddish. No novel, is there much demand for that? Yes, it's still a developing typeface, and usually only in Jewish women's books. I'd like our writing to be more accessible, especially to those who only read Yiddish. Here, something like this. I'll be sure to send you some samples when I'm finished, Klaus. Good, I'd like... No way. I'm... Yes, I'm fine. Klaus, what are you working on? That's not good. Let's have... Another death. In passing. Need to get ready to sell to travelers as the pass is open. But lately I've been printing on the 12 articles for the town. Both articles. Thanks to Father Thomas, everyone in town can read at least well enough to make it through that sheet. Got a lot of people talking, a lot are coming over to Otto's way of thinking. Well, you heard him yourself, Andreas. What do you think of what's happening in Tassing? I think the abbot is in a difficult position and he's just trying to find a way through it. The abbey's finances were bad seven years ago. Even the scriptorium was largely reliant on the grace and pity of wealthy patrons. Yeah, that's always been an ass. What do you expect? You're not wrong. Remember what happened to Attilia's house? The abbot took it away. He lost everything. She works for Father Thomas now. Yes, I spoke with her. Quite unexpected given her attitude toward the church. I was as surprised as you are now. You're, we all were. But that was only... I was as surprised as you are now, we all were, but that was the only charity available to her. Sorry, I'm not trying to bring up any bad memories. I was just trying to say that things have been hard on the peasants for years. It's just gotten worse lately. If the Abbey is in such a bad state, there must be someone the Abbot can appeal to for more money. Not really how it works, the Abbot is the lord of the land and owes money to his superiors. I had to sit down with Otto and work something out. Who? The Pope? The Duke of Bavaria might lend him military aid, but money is unlikely. Well, the people in this town are spent. There must be some treasures the abbot could sell to find what he needs. White bread, apple pie, mushroom pottage. This dude's living lavish. Start off with the pottage. We're sympathetic to what's happening here. We saw it all throughout Swabia. Peasants are suffering. Swabia. Former duchy, duchy the southern Roman home. A former duchy in the southern Holy Roman Empire. It was reformed as the Swabian Circle in 1512. 1512. Borders Bavaria to the west, the Swiss Confederacy to the south, and Austria to the southeast. It's true. But I worry about what will happen in Tassing. But... Ow. I'm fine. Peasants are no match for the soldiers of the Swabian League. What is the Swabian League? The Swabian League was a military group maintained by the fierce... by the free imperial cities of the Holy Roman Empire. Members included nobles, knights, and hired or retained mercenaries. Soldiers of the Swabian nobility, and to keep peace in the empire. Mercenaries, soldiers for hire, they rally for coin, not for cause. Bastards who think they can crush people for the crime of standing up for themselves. Right or wrong, they can crush them. We saw their handiwork, it was brutal. The 
peasants aren't careful, peasants could draw the wrong sort of attention. I know that Otto and the peasants are taking a risk, but I believe Otto will keep things peaceful. Anyway, it's not the Swabian League we have to worry about, but the soldiers of the Duke of Bavaria. Bavaria? Let's go. Prince Bishop has the church's authority, but the Duke's hands surround Tessing and Curcell. Save the pie for last. Last, I'm sorry for showing up yesterday without writing. You had every right to be angry. I also wanted to apologize for never writing back. I was so caught up in work. You know how it is. Never got around to it. Don't say that. I also am sorry for never writing back. I haven't heard testing it yourself. I just wanted to forget it. I also am sorry for what happened to your family, and I'm sorry I never wrote back. I'm traveling so much, I miss most of your letters. And so much time passed when I finally heard about Bert and Marie. I'm sorry. Uh... Ow. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We can't travel now. This is all my fault. Should have left for Basil earlier. I love you, Benjamin, but be quiet. I don't care. I need help. Yes, we need a midwife. Is there one who would accept Rachel? Agnes Steinauer and she's Tassing's midwife. Fetch Dr. Stoltz. Dr. Stoltz? Fuck. Dr. Stoltz lost a child. What? Didn't he? I don't remember. Did you get her? Klaus? Yes, I should get her. Agnes has delivered every child in Tassing as long as I can remember. He would never turn any woman away. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Klaus. You're a mensch. Enough with the thanks. Get me the midwife. Andreas, you're forgiven. Kaspar, it was good to have you over, but both of you have to leave. Of course. Good luck, Rachel. Thank you, I'll need it. I'll go fetch Agnes. Thank you for joining us, Andreas. Oh, I almost forgot. You should go see the bonfire preparation in the town commons. You missed them on your last visit. Klaus! I'm going. Thank you, Klaus. We'll be going. Take care. So, yeah, she's having a baby. Let's see if I can't see Stoltz. They got Christmas decoration? Just a bit. They don't. Stoltz. What you doing, bro? He's gone. Anything hidden? Why did you leave your house open? Maybe he's talking with the other dude. Isn't up. Nope. Maybe he's at the bonfire? Who wouldn't be? He's a class trader. In bakery. Bless you, Andreas Ulrich on a... It's Master Mailer to you, child. Let's see, this is where we put the pagan. Everyone seems, seems to be working hard for the bonfire tonight. The commons look best to decorate it like this. Look at all the flowers, Master. And the bonfire is huge. How's the fire coming? These logs work out alright for you, Andreas. Coming along as expected. Nearly finished with it. It's all in place, Otto. Good, good. Alright, everyone. Remember, after the bonfire tonight, we celebrate as usual. We will all gather in the woods, and the women will collect herbs as tradition demands. Otto, the abbot has forbidden harvesting in the forest. Please, for everyone's sake, reconsider your actions. Thank you, Father, but the abbot's order goes against God's law. The forest belongs to all of us, as do all its game and fall and fish. 
He cannot claim ownership over that which the Lord gave us to hold in common. No, I'm sorry, Father. We'll proceed as planned. Passing has never let anything get in the way of our St. John's customs, as long as I can remember. We won't start now. And remember, tomorrow I will show you the proof that as sure as the sun turns round the earth, God and our saints are with us. Good day, Andreas. Hello, brother with Slav. Looked upset at Otto's announcement. Everything alright? Otto is becoming more aggressive in his defiance of the abbot. Father Gurno will not take the news well. Abbot doesn't like the festivities, or who's telling? How could the abbot stop them? Can't exactly chase them all out of the woods himself. Oh, the bonfire is fine. I look forward to it every year, and the festival is wonderful. Willfully antagonizing the abbot by gathering herbs against his order. I'm afraid this won't end well. His order? Then you just hear Father Thomas, Andreas. The abbot declared the woods off limits. Anyway, not for me to say. I'm sure the abbot will tell you more. He sent me with an invitation for you to dine with him tonight. Sure the father will want to discuss the situation over supper. I'm kidding. What does the abbot think he can pry out of me now? Watch your tone around the abbot, Andreas. We go or not. Fine. I'll attend. Does the invitation extend to Caspar as well? I'm sorry, Andreas, but Father Abbot has asked you to come to his house alone. Please tell the abbot I'll see him this evening. Fuck the abbot. Well, I guess I'll see what the fuss is about. I'll meet you back at the Golden Hand after dinner, alright? I help set up the festival decorations while you're with the abbot. Yes, I'll be back before sundown, alright? Yes, thank you, Master. See you later. That kind of sucks. I don't know I'd have to take a roundabout way. But maybe this is like a predetermined thing. Sir Andreas, you better not keep the abbot waiting. Go on. Meet up after supper. Alright, don't get into trouble. Come on, Andreas. Fucking satanic. Master Mailer. I'm gonna use my mouse for this. Bonfire is much simpler than the one in Nuremberg, but it's pretty all the same. Endress, nothing to say. Man. Damn. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Everyone should be over there. I guess except the women. That doesn't really make sense. Back at the start, like everyone, why is Martin there? It was like the most, like, set up dude for that. Zimmerman house. See a cleaver. Maybe a murder weapon later. Truckers. Stein hours. Aren't you out there, Lucky? Agnes. Oh, Andreas. Good luck with your kid, it's probably gonna die. No one this town's history. Why aren't you there? Richies. All the bread you could ask for. 
and all the grain from the millers probably at a cheaper price. Nope. There's a Tilia. Probably in the woods. Makes sense. Got the mill, Miller House. Nobody's celebrating. Paul doesn't care. Paul probably cares, Elsa. Good evening, Master Mailer. Mistress Mullerin, you're not so part of the festivities. If only I could. I like seeing the community come together, especially in these times of strife. Be nice to have a pleasant eve at the bonfire with the dancing and my husband thinks it's a tradition for fools and miscreants. What about your son? Is he going? Go on your own, you know. Certainly not, Master Mailer. Imagine how that would look. No, I will be staying in. I have plenty of honest work to do after all. Paul will also stay home. I must look after him. You are your own person, Mistress Mullerin. Forever shackled to your duties. Family is most precious. Truly really is important to take care of them, as you do. Master Mailer, you forget yourself. I have responsibilities. I can't just do anything I want. Not what I mean. You can still make choices without ignoring your responsibilities. Oh, but... I cannot. There is too much to do. My heart wouldn't allow it. Oh no, I cannot. You would think of this like he thinks of the peasants. Even on a holy night such as this, he sees what peasants engage in as lawlessness. A carnival of filthy voices. Filthy vices. Something he is familiar with. What do you mean? Oh, pay me no mind, Andreas. I misspoke. Don't tell Lenhard I said anything. Not at home tonight, is he? No, he went out some time ago. Keep an eye on the peasants, he said. Make sure they don't get out of line. Especially with Otto urging against the authority of the abbot, that it stinks of trouble. He may be patrolling the forests, or not really. Perhaps it will deter any serious offenses. Sure, he should be taking the law. I'm not sure he should be taking the law in his own hands. I'll repeat myself. He is allowed to make such choices, and so are you. Master Mailer, if only I had the strength to be as obstinate as you. I'm sorry, I must return to my work and offer prayers to the Forerunner in silence, as usual. Bid you well, then. It will work one of these days. Paul, come with me. Go to the bonfire. I do hope he gets murdered next. Then we'll have a widow. Right for the picking. Let's check out the forest. Smoker, smoky. What's up, smoky? Evening, Master Mailer. You're not taking part in the festivities? I need to ask you the same. I didn't see you at the bonfire. Imagine it would be a great chance to gather some gossip. Plenty of guests go around if one keeps their eyes open in the forest tonight. An enchanted evening. So for your question, I get enough fire and smoke as it is. Decent, decent folk don't like to associate with my kind. And as they like the charcoal, they hate the burner. Other than Andreas, he occasionally comes by. I guess he has to keep good relations. First trade. Wait. The smith. People avoid you even on a night such as this. People are fools. True, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. Made my peace with the matter. For me, it's a night like most others. I prefer staying sober and observing the townsfolk. Easier to get all the gossip for the year to come, you know. Besides, I reckon I'm growing too old for the mischief. Best let others run around in their silly costumes. I think you still have some youth in you. Like the sun rises to its highest point every year, so my back grows ever more crooked. Feel it, bro. But I appreciate your coming by. Wish you a pleasant evening, Master Mailer. Till later. Till then. Oh, 
Where is this asshole? Maybe he was protecting the fucking... The holy shrine? Dipping out and hiding in the salt mine? Too innocent. That wasn't their last time. I'm assuming it's in relation to the victims. But also could probably be nothing. Seisha. Oh, maybe he was the ghost we saw running across the relics. Or the, the ruins, rather. Not Paul. Um... Estos? Nope. Church is probably also off limits again. Brother Guy. And Convent Garden. They're not partaking in the festivities. Oh, Padena. Greetings, Master Mailer. Guess that's why you come in there. Illuminata. Bless you, Andreas. Guess there's no point in going to the library then. And all of these people should be in the be at the bonfire. There's no point in searching around. I'm just gonna go straight to the habit. Up, Father Gurno. God bless you, Andreas. I'm glad to see you received my invitation. Are you ready to eat? Yes. This dude poisons people, though. He poisoned the last father. Andreas, thank you for coming to dinner. I will admit, I was surprised to receive your invitation, father, but I'm pleased to come. Now you didn't ever want to see me at your cell again, father. What changed? Yes, well, the Lord calls us to forgiveness, even when that might be difficult. I think it's high time we reconciled. Master Mailer, please sit, and we will pray together. Could have did that seven years ago, bro. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Lord, direct each of us here toward your wisdom, prudence, and guidance in our future actions. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Brother Waslav was indeed prompt in delivering my message. I'm surprised you deigned to drop by at all. You have done quite well for yourself, after all. It is good to see that your time at Kyrsel was not squandered. You even look the part of the famous artist now. What have you been doing in recent years after leaving such a mess in Tassing? City Council did approve me as a master artist in Nuremberg. Be pleased to hear. The commission of Marian Christ waiting for me in Nuremberg. My patron wants me to keep adding more of his associates in. I'm dreading going back to it. I spent most of my master years painting in Poland. You care about my successes, father. I'm surprised anything is left there after all the rampaging of the Protestants. Krakow has a great deal of beautiful art, father. Hans Durer has made a home there. King artist. It's the king artist. As the king's artist. Surely you've heard of his or his brother's work. Trouble is half the fun, father. I wouldn't know, father. I've just been promoting myself and my work. Skill alone does not allow one to succeed. One needs a bit of strategy, too. I need that. Seems to have worked out well for you, then. Yes, I'm living comfortably. What do you ask me here for, anyway? In truth, I had hoped to discuss the rising tensions between the Abbey and the townspeople. I'd like to clarify the situation for you, Andreas. Of course, just like you clarified that Pyrrha was guilty all those years ago. Please have it on all years. Clarify what exactly? 
This is precisely why I ask you here. I'm trying to prevent another terrible situation like that. I believe you've only heard from one side of the issue, Andreas. Otto's little speeches about taxes don't account for the entire situation. Why demand such high taxes then, father? I don't want to eat any of this dude's food. He's going to poison me. Plum pudding, pheasant, lacuchin. Maybe eat less fancy food. With the scriptorium closure, the taxes are necessary to make up for the lost income. Surely there's another option. Do you really need to raise taxes that much? Why not ask the bishop for help? Just because you decided to close the scriptorium doesn't mean the townsfolk should suffer. Other abbeys have been able to adapt and make revenue. Surely you don't need that much tax to make up the lost revenue. I don't have the accounts with me right now, Andreas. It will be enough, and the scriptorium was an, ex an expense as it is. The other guy has gone over the expenses himself, raising taxes is the best way to cover these costs. But what about prohibiting the peasants from using the forest? That's a new restriction. Take the pudding for last. Peasant. That sounds good right now. The forest belongs to the abbey, and the peasants have no right to use it. Legally, it's theft. It doesn't harm the abbey to let the townsfolk pick up sticks. I bring the issue up with me then. You don't need to talk to the townsfolk. You need to talk to the townsfolk, not me. I don't have a stake in this. True, Swabian Bavarian law allow you to control the land as you wish, but the peasants are saying these restrictions go against God's divine law. Not any imperial rule, father. God, in his wisdom, established the church with his law. It would do well to remember that. But doesn't God's law account for graciousness and charity? Peasants have exhausted my graciousness and charity for too long already. I have little regard for the church's authority itself. The monastery and church exist to help stop foolishness. Foolishness. And to help regulate mankind's sin and greed. Peasants and townsfolk have gone too far. I hear they will continue their disobedience by collecting herbs on St. John's Eve. The whole town knows I've forbidden it. The matter is grave, and I will excommunicate anyone who defies my order. Who would condemn the town over something so petty? It certainly creates an ultimatum. It's insane. That is up to them. Fuck this dude. Remaining impartial will be impossible as long as you're in town. Support me in ending this foolish rebellion. You have a reputation in town, Andreas. You're a successful man, and the townsfolk believe they are like you. I'd like you to convince the other townsfolk, the printer for example, that this uprising is not in their best interests. The rest of the town will follow, and the peasants will have no choice to resist. No chance to resist. We can end this peacefully. I don't want the town to come to harm. It is a precarious situation, but I understand your point of view, Father. Peasants have genuine grievances. Why not talk with them and negotiate? I want no part in this either way. I don't have a stake in this, and I don't want to make enemies. Peasants are right, Father. You have been too harsh on them. I won't help you. Damn your plant. That'll probably get me. These will probably both get me a negative rip. I am for am I I am a forgiving man, but Otto's stubbornness has challenged me even challenged even me. Otto is past the point of talking, Andreas. That's why I'm begging you to help in the matter. Please take more time to think about it. I apologize, we must conclude for now. I must excuse myself. I'm expected to leave the service at compliant tonight. Think on what we've discussed, Andreas. I trust you can find your way out. I will, Father Abbott. Good night. Sleepy time. Sleepy time tea. Drink it before bed. It'll help you sleep. Man. Anyone here? Hmm, maybe we can catch someone in the act again. Monks and nuns. Will as old as time. Nope. 
me out then. Waste of time. There's gotta be some clues that- well, there's not been a murder. It's not like there was a murder before I found a bunch of stuff. But I guess... This one seems a lot more straightforward than the last one. Brother guy, being a dickhead as usual. Sedona no longer there. Is broken. That's for the guy that said the charm. I guess this is the current the main story quest. Don't play. So strange being back in case no. Alright. It suffers only when she returns to the podcast bar. Thus bar has been murdered. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Um, back to the forest. Maybe back to the meadow? Me out. A Roman ruins. Uh, Miller's house is locked up. No one in commoners showing up. So Patilia. Well, well. You're the artist, the one who lived with the Puritaners. Mixed up in this wonderful killing of that rat. Baron. Yes, Andreas Mailer. Know your damned name. Anyway, no time to talk now, fancy man. It's time to call the, to the fire. Call. Call to Ans. Call to Perchta. Taking God of the Alps. Noose Ardain. Best or Bertie? I am reading this. All right, I'm going to go. Enjoy the evening, Andreas. But if you want my advice, stay out of the woods tonight. Yes, bar, Master Andreas. Look how big the bonfire is. The decorations are so fancy. St. John's Eve Festival is a big event for testing. I missed it last time I was here. Haven't you ever been to a festival like this in Spur? Spur? The festivals in Nuremberg are much bigger. Testing's is quite tame comparatively. Well, I think it's fantastic. Never seen anything like this. Can I stay at the bonfire and see the costumes? Watch the collector of his master mailer, please? Alright, follow along and don't get in their way. I'm too tired for the festival. I'll just turn in for the night. I don't want to risk the episode here, let's just head back and go to sleep. Yes, I promised I won't make trouble. I'll see you tomorrow, Master. Werner, Andreas. Salutations, Andreas. Most wonderful to see you here. I see you two have met. What do you want with an inventor? Make all manner of mechanical attractions, filled with gears and levers and other such delights. Andreas here is a man of mine. Why shouldn't you find interest in my work? 
For all the use it is. The mind of the inventor exists to create, to build. Go one step further. One step further toward the garbage heap. Got him. What's up, Saren? Working some little audio. That's fine. But if you have no audio, then I can't hear you say that's fine. All good. Putting Werner on blast. Makes sense you'd also be rude to your friends, Werner. Inspiring thought, Baltus. That's supposed to mean. Yes. Perhaps you'll find a friend yourself someday, Master Mailer. Grace, have you had the chance to look around town tonight? I imagine the sights could be inspiring to your artistic mind. Dessing certainly looks cheerful with the decorations and bonfire. What do you mean? Indeed, look at the peasantry, the peasant ingenuity. Consider the bonfire itself. It is built to allow the air and the heat to flow through it. The great. Bro, finish your writing early. Built to allow the air and the heat to flow through it at great speed, and how it roars. A clever piece of construction, but Otto's a clever man. It is a feat almost worthy of the university degree. These people have natural traditions. They've managed to figure out many clever things without even the most cursory education. It is knowledge that hails from preceding generations, lived experience passed along the chain of time. Not quite the knowledge of a rigorously educated mind, perhaps, but nonetheless useful. I don't need a university education to be smart. I don't see the use for any of it. Of course you would say that. Neither of you know these people like I do. God has assigned them to their place in the order of the world for good reason. There is some merit in learning from the peasants, even you, Werner given their understanding of herbal remedies. Their traditions are profane. Consider the eve of St. John, tainted by their pagan rituals, an affront to Christ. St. Elegives warned against precisely this. Elegius warned against precisely this nearly a thousand years ago. Who are you? Patron saint of the goldsmiths, Bishop of Noya and Ternai, worked tirelessly to convert the pagans of Flanders to Christianity. Sure. Where'd this newfound piety come from? You're really wound up about this, aren't you? Don't pretend to know anything about me. I've been on the pilgrimage to Aachen. Located at the western edge of Brineland, Aachen is an ancient city built around thermal baths. Its houses, it houses the remains of Charlemagne as well as many other relics. Sick bro. I have visited the Marian Shrine and stood in the presence of those holy relics. An ornate golden reliquary, an ancient cathedral. It holds the swaddling clothes and loincloth of Jesus, the Virgin Mary's dress, and the decapitation cloth of John the Baptist. To be in the presence of St. John the Baptist's beheading cloth was an experience I will never forget. Cool almanac images? Yeah. I think they change every time. But it might just be daily. I've seen the reliquary several times on my visits to Antwerp. I'm glad you've had an experience. Your family must be proud. Familiar, thank you. seems to have done you little good. Perhaps you should visit again. Now, now. Let us keep peace in our hearts as brothers as Christ. In brothers... As brothers in Christ. We're here to celebrate. I'll let you continue with your evening, then. Good night. A very good night. Oh, and do come by my workshop, Master Mailer. I would love to exchange ideas. It would be my pleasure. Splendid. Until then. Mailer. Master Mailer to you, shithead. Good evening, Andreas. Nice to see you here. Yeah, I guess it's daily. 
maybe by chapter. Grandpa, look who it is. Oh, wrong button. Eh. Oh, the artist. You're still around. Told me to find you at the bonfire. Did I? Guess I did. Seems you've got some sense then. So do you have your mask? No, sorry. I didn't realize I was supposed to bring one. I'm really that interested in partaking in local traditions. Fools I have to suffer. Masks are to protect us as we banish the witches and spirits into the path. She punishes all humans she finds in the woods on St. John's Eve. It's only witches who are out in the wilderness. Anyone caught will be turned into animals. No one but a priest can then turn you back. Well, I guess I can imagine a worse punishment. Oh no, we brought low to a mere beastly existence. A grim fate. Stay indoors tonight. If you want to come outside, stay within the light of St. John's Fire. At least St. Satia blesses the herbs in this forest this night. In the forest this night. And the women will gather the herbs, regardless of that bastard habit. It's certainly important to stockpile some for the winter. Thank you for teaching me more about local traditions. Huh? Hey, Big Yord. Hmm? You grab some of those ashes with you after the bonfire has died down. Fine. What are the ashes for? Huh? To spread across the garden. Here's a good harvest. Figures you city people don't know shit. I know, that balances the pH. Come on. Don't be like that, Grandpa. Now that story time is over, how are you enjoying the evening so far, Andreas? Spoken to a few other people here. Very enlightening. Fine enough, although I'm feeling tired. The best time to spend... It's the best time to spend time with your friends. Have you heard anything interesting? Gossip. You two are like the... Burner in the forest, Smokey. That's the one. Always knows you about other people. I've also been invited to have dinner with the abbot. Just to talk me never stops. Can't say I'm exceedingly sure about it, given the animosity between us. The abbot. Best I can rot for all I care. Thief in a monk's robe. Full of hollow words. Maybe you can talk some sense into Father Gurno. Not making it easy for us, any of us. Not like we're asking for much. I'll do what I can. All we can ask. Guess I shouldn't keep you then. You have an important meeting to attend. You're right. I can't keep the abbot waiting too long. Until later. Oh, we've taken a lot of your time, haven't we? Don't forget to enjoy the night celebrations. I have a meeting? Must be asleep. What the fuck do you mean a meeting? Huh? What's up, Till? Hello, Master Mailer. Evening, Till. Enjoying the festivities? Very much so. Perhaps feel a tad old for the more active side of the celebrations, but I enjoy the sights and sounds. Did you know the word for the summer solstice leads back to the Romans? I thought you didn't read Latin. I've picked up a few words over the years, and I still have the mind to put two and two together. Admirable, I must admit. It's nothing, Master Mailer. Mainly proverbs and the occasional word. Hence, solstium. Solstium? Such as it looks at this time of year, the sun rises higher for a long time, then it stays there before falling again. Fitting allegory for the great cosmic arc of mankind, rise and fall. Let's make up for that. Dancing, leaping, songs, joy and myth. Joy and something. People do seem elated, although I don't think the same applies to Abbot Gurno. All this really keep away the decline. 
Auto's counting danger. I agree. Hoarding danger. Going against the decrees of the Abbey like so. Festival has always had a rebellious streak. Jest and mockery. I don't see it as sacred as some. The church would agree. Or the church would disagree. They are to honor a major saint. It has to be sacred enough for the church not to condemn it as heretical. What are we mocking? Blessed Saint Sean, the herald of a new era to come. The sun fades away every year, only to return. At least it never stays bad, does it? Sometimes it feels as if it goes on forever. Nothing lasts forever, Master Mailer, except our Lord in Heaven. Uh, I wish I could read more about all this. Well, the yeah, Abbey's selling books from their library. I hope I can get some for myself, but it proves to be far too expensive. Thus, and his printings have proven to be of more use, but a fair bit cheaper. Have you come across any interesting tales? I have indeed, Master Mailer. Or, I didn't quite understand everything. The text was in Latin. It was by a Roman named Fredo? 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 It was about geography. That's why I noticed it. Not even gonna have a word about him. Bro is a nobody. I don't believe I've had the chance to read anything by him. It was a fairly complicated read, I must admit. The book was about many kinds of barbarians. Which also included the Raiti tribe. I read about years ago. The people who used to live on this very land before the Romans arrived. He called this place Radium. Ratium? And described it as a cluster of... I, I don't know what that is. Dao? Huts? And it's people. The Dao Huts. And it's people hostile. And warlike. Only interested in hunting and fighting. There was something about... Manus and his... Sons. I couldn't understand a lot of it. In any case, when the Romans came, most of the locals were driven out. But some were captured to work in the fields and in the mines. Up to the locals who were first out. Forced out. No idea. I would imagine that after the Romans were driven off, and their empire started falling apart, maybe the barbarians came back. Were they really the same people? Nomads from elsewhere. Guess we may never know. Thank you for the quick history. I'll let you get back to the festivities. Enjoy yourself tonight, Master Mailer. Until later. Sprichita and Martin. We talk to Attilia. And his son. Hi, Martin. Look who it is. Good evening, Andreas. Andreas, you're staying for the festival, I hope. Of course he's staying. Who would miss this? Especially after you burly boys built such a beautiful bonfire. The alliteration, bro. Come on. Mars. Early boy like me would do anything for you, Dove. Couldn't help myself. There. Brigitte Martini will feeling very festive, I see. The food, the fires, the dancing. It really is a night to enjoy. It's to honor the anniversary of the birth of Blessed John. A vigil for he who prepared the way. Yes, yes, and he'd have liked everyone to have a good mood in their hearts, and good food in their bellies. Mm hmm, as a hermit who wandered in the desert living off locusts and wild honey, I probably wouldn't agree. I'd like to live off some wild honey myself. Get from Fuck you. So are you going to heed Otto's call and go into the forest? Martin, please behave. Yes, dear. I pray to God to relieve me of my unclean thoughts. But you'll get no dances tonight if you continue this impishness. Oh. Not but, but. Me, Andreas, this is the kind of difficult married life I have to deal with. Quite so. What's next for the evening? Will you heed Otto's call and go into the forest? Must be a burden. Heavy as the cross our savior had to carry, 
Okay, Mark Dude's cool now. No longer a shithead. I feel him. Better visit Father Thomas's confessional tomorrow with all this impiety. Got you there. So for tonight, you going to heat Otto's call and going to the forest? No, I'm not really looking for trouble. There's enough of that going around. You know you supported him earlier during the speech? You, Brigitte, I'm not gathering any herbs. Places by Martine's side. Word of the abbot is the word of the church. It's improper to go against the word of the church. Only slightly less improper than all the time you spend with Veronica. Oh, Brigitte, I'm sorry. It was a joke. It came out poorly. It's good for the heart to have cherished friends. It's fine. Andreas, I was about to say, bonfire is enough. We will dance until our le legs begin to waver. Right, Martine? Not miss it for the world. That's delightful. Hope you have a great evening. You as well, Andreas. Till later. Okay, one more. Gotta take a drink before this one. Evening, Andreas. Say, how do you like the bonfire? We built it nice this year, big and sturdy. It's a fine setup, Carl. Excellent work. Not as impressive as the ones I've seen in Nuremberg. I know we can't compare to where you come from, but we still give it our all. In celebration for the light who prepared our way for the Lord. Anton, you remember Andreas Mailer, the Western, the master artist. Yeah, I've seen him around town. Son, be polite. Hello, Master Mailer, how are you? I'm well, thank you, young man. Fine, I guess. Hasn't been a great time back in Nuremberg. But this is a well-raised kid, thus as he is told. Anton's a good boy, let me tell you. Bit of a rascal, as you can see. But he's got a good head and a good heart. Likes to hide it, though. And will you stop? Easy to rally you up, just like your mother. How is Helena? Is she not- Helena's probably dead, bro. What do you think of the festival, Anton? Oh, she's not dead. Figured with all the other deaths since I've been gone. We'll join us later. She went with Martha to dip her toes in the stream and to pick some flowers for the garlands and reeds. Important to hold the traditions. You're right, especially with the times we're having. Breathes. Dipping into the stream, aren't these more pagan customs? Besides, maybe Martha and Helena will come across some blossom of fern out there. A blossom of a fern. So funny about that. Ferns don't flower. That means no power to speak with animals for you, boy. In Poland, young couples go into the woods together searching for the fern. It's like an engagement ritual. Don't worry, Anton, you can always get a garland with St. John's Wort to ward off any demons and evil spirits. I like that, as long as they also make their vows before God. I'll be going into the woods with a girl soon. You know, Anton, not the time or the company to talk about that. Just enjoy the celebrations. Speaking of, what do you think of the festival so far, Anton? It's fine, I guess. I like the fires, when they are lit. The mountains get the twinkle, like the stars. I don't like when people get drunk and rowdy as the night goes on. You get into fights and all. Your dad keeps the trouble away, yes? Not by anyone in particular. Yeah, he doesn't like it when those damn bastards go too far. Goddamn bastards. Language boy. God doesn't look too kindly on blasphemy. But those are your words, Dad. <laughs> Best you don't quote me, like, quote the scripture instead, it's better for your soul. You listen to your father, Anton. I will, I do, Jesus. Hey, what did I just say? Don't let your mother catch you with that mouth. Well, I'll get back to the festive- I'll let you get back to the festivities now. The pleasure. For later, Andreas. Bye. Bye. Were the Gertners it? Yeah, the Gertners were. I don't know why I'm thinking. 
everyone's there. Since some people were in the forest though. Let's see if I can't catch them. Nice ambience. Crickets. Virgin Druckers. I wonder though. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to have uh, this dude gone, and I haven't seen him anywhere. But, uh, wife said he was in the forest, probably, but I haven't seen him there at all. Maybe Smokey knows? Nope. Hmm. Son of Shrape. Shrape Maritz. There's definitely gonna be a murder tonight. That's why it's sending me to bed. I see no one dipping their feet into the stream. Um, nobody was at the church last time I checked, but, 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 there was someone there one time, and I found them, found the monks doing a blasphemous act. There is a possibility to find someone there. Guy, go to fucking bed. What are you doing, bro? Maybe Illuminata's out here? Maybe you wanna speak? Nope. Perhaps... in the library? Again? They wouldn't do something like that on St. John's Eve, though. No way. Yeah, Matthew... Stay in God's light. Perhaps the nuns, though. One of them seemed to really like the slow. Looks like that's a negative, chief. Yep, no one's here. Unfortunate. Let's, uh, continue on. Go back to the, uh, the inn. Get to sleep. See who dies tomorrow. I'd assume it's Otto. I'm assuming Otto dies. If it's not Otto, then perhaps the Abbot. Maybe a miller? A miller dies, that would go that would go crazy, that would pop off. Everyone hates the millers. Even the millers hate the miller. Well just the miller. That dude. Samuel? Who the fuck are you? Why don't you ever speak to me, Samuel? Just a dude in a weird hat with a sword? Come on. to sleep because it's making me I think some shit's gonna go down but there's nothing I can do about it unfortunately failed you Oh, I'm 
back in my mind palace. Um, oh, it's like an actual maze. Last time there was multiple paths. Oh, this is the maze that was in the church. Leading me to the truth, I see. Sabine, what is it? What? I'm home. I will soon. You're lying. Sometimes I think you must despise me. Maybe it's worse than that. Maybe I'm nothing to be regarded at all. What am I to you now? An annoyance? A bother? A nuisance to be ignored while you lead another life in Krakow. Was there ever an ounce of love in your heart for me? No. I don't fucking know you. As much as you had for me, you can't help but be cruel, can you? I hate talking to you when you're like this. You hate everything about me. Say nothing. Fine. Go back to counting your money. The only thing that makes you happy. This house is so lonely without him. Stop. Your presence would only amplify the grief. So I lost the child. Stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone with the memory of him. Stop. Just leave me alone. Just for one night. One night where I don't have to dream about him. Please. Thank you. So that's the text I accidentally skipped last time when I was talking about having a child. August. Hello, August. What am I supposed to do? Just wait here with you? I suppose I can do that. Let's pass the night in silence with you. Sorry I couldn't do anything for you. I suppose there's not what much one can do against the plague. You get tired where you are. The last time I saw you, I said goodnight to you. I couldn't come to the bed, so I stood in the doorway. I just stood in the dark. He didn't say anything back, so I said it again. I don't know how long I stood there. Just waiting for you to say goodnight. You still look the same age to me. I wonder if I'll ever forget your face. Do I remember your mother as she is? Just thinking of some perversion of Daniel's portrait. Remember her loving her. Can you ever picture someone clearly if you love them? Can you ever picture someone clearly if you hate them? I loved you, little boy. Loved you so much. Sometimes I wish I could die so I wouldn't feel it anymore. I can't. So I retrace my steps every night, I find my way back to her, back to you. I love you, August. Good night. Got some trauma, bro. What happened to this place? Where is Prester John? Where is Socrates? And St. Grobian. Grobian wasn't on the ship of fools. Won't you answer me? Melancholia? No thoughts for Beatrice? You are Beatrice, aren't you? Once. It was a voice of caution, of prudence. And now? More and less than caution. The ache of doubts that, stif that stiffens to paralysis. Paralysis that breeds despair. Melancholia. What happened to you? What happens to you happens to us. The foundations of this city are moored within the ocean of your mind. The 
God's court does not rule your mind, your mind rules the court. Once reason, curiosity, and the foolishness of youth dwelt under the aegis of your intellect. I am all that remains, the melancholy of life's autumn. But it is only June. Wit can't save you from your own mind, Andreas. What can? A course other than the one you have already run. Another course, I'm 33. I have a wife, a workshop, plants across the empire. And it's brought you here, Andreas Mailer. What am I supposed to do about it now? Change your life. Wait, I shouldn't be here. I needed to help someone. It's Caspar, alright. Ah, so your thoughts aren't entirely turned inward. There is still something in you that cares for others in spite of your melancholy. Perhaps there is still hope for us. Wake up, Andreas. He never came back. Five. St. John's Eve. Fine, Kispar. Why didn't he just fucking come home? Dumbass. Stupid child. Why am I wearing my night clothes so uh, this dude's gone? Put something on, Andreas. I don't even have shoes. Such indecent clothing. Well, I'm going to the church. I'm gonna go see if there's anything there. Well, no. A lot of commotion tonight. Sounds like everyone's gone into the woods. Everyone. But nobody from the church. This is why this is the perfect place to search. Don't worry, just the night intruder. It's gotta be asleep, right? Yep. Let's see. Everyone should be in the dorms asleep. They are not. But perhaps that's for a gameplay. Shut up. Or maybe they're fighting in the fucking forest. Perhaps. Sedana, where are you? Maybe Matthew is here? With his sweet? Uh, no. Why do I keep coming to this library? There's something in me that tells me the library is going to have something at the top. I'm going to be extremely pissed if I miss, but... I'm already mad that I spend so much time looking at nothing. This game would go crazy if it just had a star on anything you can interact with on the map. As I get, you can't interact with everything. There are some that lock you into a certain path, but... I would appreciate having a choice when at least see them on the map. I don't have to wander around aimlessly. Hoping that I get to press a button. You find the fucking... You killed the rat yet, cat? Guess I fed him because he's fighting off the plague. The plague took my son. Augustus. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in the church. Sincerely, though. 
Convent's also probably got nothing going on. Jesus, that's bright. Why is it so bright in here? I think the game just bugged there. Came at no reason to fucking flashbang me. Jesus Christ. Um... Kid's probably in the forest. Check out the Millers though. And maybe the ruins. Nope. Nothing here. Millers are closed off. Truckers. There was the maze in my mine palace. Like there's nothing here though. Labyrinth. Nope. Nobody. Well. Nope. This church is gonna play an important role later. I know it. Nobody here. The moon house is closed. Auto. Hello, Andreas. Enjoying the bonfire? Your costume looks just like a fancy nightdress. Looking for Kaspar, have you seen him? No, I haven't seen the boy tonight. A group of townspeople went into the forest to collect the herbs, though. Might see if he wandered off with them. Enjoy the festival while you're at it, Andreas. We're showing the abbot what for. Bonfire is much simpler than the one at Nuremberg, but it's pretty all the same. I'm gonna guess the rich dudes did not partake. Perhaps I can speak to them. Bolts, nope. Guess not. Stars. Camper in. I need to talk to the Gertners, or at least check the Gertners, see if they're all there. You know what they there, from John Bauer Farm. Johan Bauer Farm. It's like, no, but they're probably out picking, actually. They were raised pagan. And these people... I think Martin said he was not going to be picking. Probably doing something a little bit better. Based on the move from earlier. Well, into the forest. Smokey. Smokey's not out and about. You're gonna miss out on all the gossip, bro. I guess he is cooking, so we might just be out here. Oh. Come back there. Fucking wrestling. Go on. Something happened to Johan. What the fuck? Jump scare. You okay, bro? Johan, dear, where are you? Don't tell me Johan dies. Oh. Perhaps that is Johan. Oh, and someone's peeking. Might have debauchery, I see. Where is that man? Prime of Sensation, there was a dude who just ran off over the year. Maybe he was up to something. Master Andreas, what are you doing out here? 
Thus far, thank god I was worried when you didn't come back. Where have you been? I the bonfire with Killian, but I heard a ruckus from deeper in the woods. I left to go see what it was. Father Gurno, what are you doing out here? I was chasing one of the townsfolk, but lost track of the costume buffoon. Forest is off limits. I'll figure out who's breaking the rules and excommunicate them myself. It better not be Johan. No one is screaming in town. They're really taking this nonsense too far this year. Go back to town and see what happened. Let's go back to town together and see what the noise was. What are we still doing here? Come on. Damn, we got this dude following. Huh? Birdman? Never seen these flowers before. I wonder what the, where they found them. Who was that running off anyway? Too hard to tell who's in those stupid costumes. Don't worry about them later. Let's check on the town first. What the fuck? Auto. Wait, that wasn't. That's just Warner. Who cares? Never mind. Warner, is he? No, wait, no. It is Otto. Warner's not. God damn it. I knew it was gonna be Otto. Oh. Throw cheesing off in the right corner. Fuck you. Muller. Dumbass. Someone released the rope. The platform crushed them. What? How did this happen? Altus and Lenhart. And I heard the crash and stepped outside to see what happened. Oh, you're parting with fucking Lenhart. Right. And then we saw a figure in a costume rushing off from the rat house. Must have been whoever released the rope. What were you during the elevator of this, Lenhart? Enjoying a light meal with these gentlemen. What a shame you can't play me for this, Peter. As far, I looked to see if Otto had a note. Huh? Do it. Yeah, just check the dead body real quick. No, Master, there's nothing. Are you certain? What were you expecting? I'm not sure. My god. Oh shit, Eva. I have a fatherless daughter. Oh no. You. Yeah, but must have killed him. The bastard always had it out for Otto. We all knew it. We need answers. How dare you? I won't just stand here and be accused of such a foul act by a peasant. Don't fucking. Okay. You're just asking for it. Wait, no, the abbot was with us. He's innocent. As far as right, even if we don't have any proof. Grab the artist and the boy, too. We'll get to the bottom of this. As far as run. The abbey. I guess mob mentality. Who will make someone do this even if they're not an asshole? Makes sense. I get it, bro. Speed up a bit. Oh, it's because I wasn't fucking pressing right. That was my bad. Brothers. To the library now. ran through the church this way. Actually lit. Yeah, this is where we start the combat portion of this game. Oh, assholes. With torches. Andreas, get out of the way. Otto's death demands justice. True. 
The abbot couldn't have killed Otto, he was with us when we found the body. That's true, he did arrive with you, but you don't know where he was before that, do you, Andreas? Who else would want to kill Otto? Howard, killer, Andreas move. I should have paid attention to who was there. Fuck. Whoever wasn't at that meeting is a suspect. Because they were in that bird costume and ran into the forest. There's no way they could have got back before us. I'm not moving, I won't let- I don't care about him. Go after Grinot, the real killer will get away. I don't like his stance any more than you, but violence is not the answer to you, Peter. It's the tent of the law, whoever killed him. Fuck. No mercy, faceless. He's a monster. Those monks don't come out, we'll set fire to the whole place and cook them. We've all gone mad. And if you don't trust the abbot, trust me. I swear he wasn't the one to do it. He was with me. Reno wasn't the only one who disagreed or disliked Otto. There must be someone else who killed him. You all have good reasons to hate the abbot, but he's not the culprit here. I was there too. Master Andreas is telling the truth. Fine, damn it. You got one day to find whoever you think is the real killer, Andreas. Otherwise, we will come back for the abbot. Andreas, all I want is justice for my husband. Please, you must find the murderer. If Otto was a good man, I won't stop until I find who killed him. We got one day. We got. We don't even have one day. We got like half a day. Peasants are really convinced that Gurno killed Otto, but it's impossible. Peter's temper get in the way. The abbot is an easy target because he was at odds with Otto and his cause. It was no secret that Kurno and Otto were at odds. Don't wish death on the man, but the abbot was an ass. Master Peter was furious. He's only giving you a day to find the murderer. Why do you even agree to find who really killed Otto anyways? Didn't turn out well last time, did it? I do it again. Turned out perfectly fine, child. Everyone deserves just that's true. Gotta fix that. Law needs to be upheld. If no one else will do it, I will. Honestly, anything to keep from going back to Nuremberg, I don't want to talk about it. Everyone deserves justice, Caspar. A good heart, Master Andreas. So who do you think did it then? Where do we even start? Good talk to Lenhart. He always hated the peasants and supported the abbot. He was very vocal against Otto in the town commons the other day. Might have hated Otto enough to kill him. It was worth talking to him and finding out. Even if he didn't kill Otto, he might know who else had the motivation to. What, was, what about Martin Bauer? When he saw him talking to Otto, they seemed to be arguing over something. It's not likely. Martin supported Otto and the peasants. He was always an ass. If they had a bad enough argument, he could have wanted to kill Otto. It would be worth talking to Martin to see what they were discussing. He might have an idea of who would want to kill Otto. Who else? Here we can find some other suspects. We'll have to do some more investigating to find out who the murderer is, but we'd better move fast. The murderer confessed to Father Thomas? Probably not. That would be foolhardy. Maybe, even if the murderer did, Father Thomas is bound by the seal of confession, he won't tell us. However, we could eavesdrop on confessions. Since St. John's Eve just happened, the townsfolk will all come in to confess. What if the townsfolk might have heard something anyway? Good place to start. Also ask around the Golden Hand. Travelers might have seen or heard something useful. People will tell outsiders anything. Heard something we missed. What about the person who ran by us in the forest? They were wearing the fl these flowers. Never seen them before. Right. We have to find the source of those flowers in the woods. They might give us some sort of connection to the killer. We have a lot of good places to start. Even though time is short, we have a good chance of finding the real killer. Get to work. 
That's half an hour left. I doubt I can finish this today. But this is definitely done by next one. Hello, Master Mailer. Anything I can do for you? Yes, actually. We're pretty vocal against Otto in the town commons. What was that about? Just what I said then. I don't want anyone to get hurt, especially now. We've already had one death in Tassing. We don't need any more. What about the plight of the peasants? They're dying too. That doesn't explain why you spoke out, Otto. Never advocated violence. We're opposed to Otto's ideas, though. He spoke against violence. The Golden Hand relies on pilgrims and travelers for its business, Andreas. If Otto got his way, everything would be chaos. Swabia is burning as it is. We need the law to live civilized lives, Andreas. What Otto has advo was advocating for scared me. Hardly better now. Otto was the only thing holding Peter back. Dear God, I hadn't considered that. Pray this ends quickly. Get back to work. If you need anything else, Master Mailer, just let me know. That kid is open. Yasua. God bless you, talk to Munhart. Killian. Nico, heard any gossip? You heard anyone in here talking about Otto's murder? Not just talking about it, but you know. Yeah, you know. Exactly. Understands, Gaspar, thank you. They had something to do with it? Oh no, I think I'd remember something like that. And again, try not to eavesdrop on conversations. I don't want to get yelled at first. Maybe you could find more luck talking to people. Beer always tends to loosen people's lips. Fire around for everyone and you can have the run of this place. Be here a while though. Maybe later. I doubt these people know anything. Well, hmm. Another murder and another investigation. You're telling me, bro. I consider it a weed. Guess we gotta find where this thing grows. That's new. Flowers. They're not the ones you found though, see the petals? Let's keep looking. Find yellow petaled flowers. Perhaps my smokey's home. Here's some flowers, master. Close, but not a match to the ones you found. Let's keep searching. Smokey is not a suspect. At least I don't think. Get these flowers, Master. Yes, but these don't match the ones you picked up. You keep looking. I will keep looking. Excited for Monster Hunter tomorrow, though. Not these, Master Andreas. All these flowers are red, they don't match the ones you found. Because, uh. Decided to just do online quests. Offline or off stream. So I've got a lot of town to go through, and I hate the town. Could be better on stream though. Rampages are more the worst. Still not quite the match we're looking for. Surely we'll find the right ones. It must be a part of the forest we haven't looked at yet. Go back over all the areas, especially poke at the edges. Sensation. Maybe there's something there now? Yes. Master, I think I see an opening behind these trees that leads to a deeper area of the forest. Could this be where that mysterious coffin figure ran when Otto was murdered? Let's see where it leads. It could take a while though. I can only do one of these. Um... I 
think that's like the best shot we have. I doubt Bro is gonna talk about somebody he thinks could have murdered him. So. This is gonna be fucked. Oh yeah. Chris, enjoy the bonfire. Until the murder, I suppose. It only seems to happen when you're here. What are you doing back here anyway? I need to pay respects to Brother Piero. Why? He can't hear you, he's gone. For my own sake, I suppose. Alright, I understand that. Stupid. I understand it. Can't imagine why anyone would come to Tassing unless they were desperate. You work for Father Thomas? Work for- I already fucking did this text. Uh... Thinks he can save me. Let him keep believing that as long as he keeps a roof over my head. You know anything about Otto's murder? No, why would I? Why do you care? Just asking, you never know who might have seen or heard something. Well, I haven't. Are we done? Yes. Till later. Fine. What does the labyrinth mean? Oh, he's in his whole getup. Oh, Andreas, what have you come back to? This is all awful, just awful. I could never have allowed Klaus to publish the 12 articles. This is what happens when common people get agitated by reading nonsense. What's the alternative? Forbidding them from reading. What do you think of the 12 articles? Look rashly, there is merit to the fundament. The 12 articles, of course. There's even merit to the ideas of Martin, Martin Luther. I'm not about to advocate that, but... I'm not about to advocate the peasant to read his works. These pamphlets, these books, can make people crazed, furious. Mr. Amelie and I have seen what happens when good people become part of a mob. You're in Tassing? Thankfully, no. It was much earlier. Before we came to Tassing, I was the priest at a town near a Beck Benedictine convent. The town was full of good people. The good people wh were whipped into a pub. But the good people were whipped into a panic by an educated neighbor, the town doctor. He had read them the Malleus Maleficarum. Maleficarum. The Hammer of Witches, a treatise on witchcraft published by Speyer in 1486. Theologian at the University of Cologne de condemned the book as unethical and not in line with the Catholic doctrine. Despite this, the book has enjoyed widespread popularity and had put ideas into his head. The Witch Hunting Manual. The author was driven out of Innsbruck, wasn't he? Yes. A word of that had not reached our doctor. One thing is, one thing the book's author and the doctor shared was a contempt for hatred of women. In the convent, the doctor saw a coven of witches. In Sister Amelie, he saw not a mystic, but a woman possessed by evil spirits, speaking blasphemy. But surely the logical magistrate didn't believe that. No, he did not. That didn't matter. The doctor inflamed his neighbor's fears. No matter what I did, no matter what I said, made no difference. They wouldn't listen to reason. They wouldn't even listen to scripture. In the dead of night, they gathered at the convent and set fire to it. Mr. Amelie was lucky to escape with her life. The rest of the nuns were not as fortunate. Though I am all too aware of what can happen from when a mob forms. I should have known it would happen again. It's all my fault. You can't blame yourself for this, father. Why not? I share more than a small measure of responsibility. You'd think that Otto's death would have shocked, shocked the farmers into abandoning a hopeless cause. It only inflamed them. Do what you can to keep the peasants calm I'm still looking for Otto's killer. But if never come to this, the abbot should have known what he was playing with fire. He was playing with fire. You're all right, father, have faith. What about Otto and Peter? What about Klaus? Couldn't they have known? Peasants are being butchered all over Swabia. I just want this to stop before it gets any worse. 
suppose there's no good writing about what's already happened. I have to minister to the people of the town as best as I can, given the circumstances, and pray for the best. Speaking of which, I need to hear confessions for the townsfolk. The tassing tradition after St. John's Eve. In case they get up to any mischief that can't wait until Easter. I have to give priority to the locals, of course. If you want to wait a few hours, I can hear you. And I have to, of course. I would be remiss if I didn't offer. Right now, Father, but thank you. Oops. So I think I'll go through all of my text options and then end the day and end the stream with going into the forest. Elsa. Miss you, Master Mailer. Paul. Oh. Hello, Master Mailer. Any new drawings? Nope. Miller House. What if those are fucking Lenhardt's drawings? Andreas, it appears you've caught up in another murder again. What unfortunate timing for you. Quite fortunate for you, given your meal with Baltus and Dr. Stoltz. Find who's the real killer and prevent more bloodshed, maybe it's a good thing I was here. You too, Andreas? I understand Peter was thinking of the worst of me, but... Why would I kill Otto? Why would I kill Eva's husband? I don't know, maybe there was something between you and Otto. There wasn't, trust me or don't. But there wasn't. I disagree with a lot of the people in this town, but I don't go around killing them. Besides, if Otto brought down the Duke's anger, it wouldn't fall on my head. You say so. I do. In any case, if you get tired of investigating, my door is open. If you'd like to join my family for a meal, or see the mountains, just let me know. See the mountains? Yes, for a brief hunt. Hunt? Yes, for deer. I might be able to help you get some perspective on the situation. Investigating Otto's murder, a hunt hardly seems an seems appropriate. If it would help, I can tell you what I know, and I know a fair deal. What do you know? No. Come hunting with me and I'll tell you. Alright, fine. Wonderful. We'll have to leave the little boy behind though. He'll slow us down. I understand, Gaspar. You can stay here with Paul until we return. Alright, Master. Damn it. Hopefully this doesn't take up my day. How's the climb suiting you, Mailer? It's a bit more challenging than I was expecting. The worst is over. There's only a little way to go. Rest for a moment and let me know when you're ready to continue. Invitation to hunt. Man. This is a cool situation, though. You all have tasking it yourself from here. Probably have enough time for a quick sketch. Despite all of Tassim's troubles, it looks peaceful from up here. No. I'm assuming most players hate this dude, so maybe this is a rare occurrence. Why is this so hard? It's like my mind just wants my hand to stop. I can't even draw something as beautiful as this valley. Useless. What a waste of time. Snow in June. Some parts of the Alps, the snow doesn't melt until late summer. All that space devoted to fields. It's a pity we need the peasants to work them. They lead hard lives and do difficult work. It's not my problem. God saw fit to make them peasants. They're grist for God's mill. And no one wants grist. Just want the flour that comes from it. Yet without grist, there would be no flour. Like I said, it's a pity. Still, your women are of some value. Don't misunderstand me, they're as stupid as the men, but they do have some charms. When they're young, of course, they age like buttermilk in the sun. What does it matter to you? You're a married man. Andreas, marriage is for raising children, keeping a household. There's nothing wrong with enjoying fruit from a tree in another man's yard from time to time.
Given your contempt for them, I'm surprised any peasant woman would lay with you. Oh really? How many men have enjoyed the fruit from your tree? None, because Elsa is mine. No man in this town would dare. would be dead within the day. Even the abbot would hold me responsible for it. I rely a great deal on your friendship with the abbot. The abbot is a strong ruler, and he controls his lands with a firm hand. These peasants don't understand how good they have it. Whether the peasants disband or suffer the duke's wrath, the abbot current the abbot's current peril is only temporary. That's enough talk for now. Are you ready to head up? Yes, let's continue. Gotta hate dogs, bro. Noisy dogs. Here come through this clearing at all times of year. There's a natural blind up ahead. We can watch from there. I have to admit, I didn't think much of you when you were last in Tassing, horror artist and all that. It's interesting because I didn't think much of you either. Don't act like we're not alike, Mailer. We both got... We both made something of ourselves. Seven years ago, you were boarding in a run-down peasant's hovel. Now you're a master running your own workshop in Nuremberg. Unlike us, make our own fortune. Didn't your father build the mill? The old mill. I built this one. The only windmill in Bavaria. With his fortune. You're missing the point. We built something for ourselves. Peter Gertner will toil the same field his father did until he drops. Big York will do the same. Peasants ask for the world, but they can't even comprehend what's outside of their tiny plot of land. Where is this conversation leading? It's rebellion by the farmers. It won't go anywhere. Whether it ends peacefully or violently, they won't win. They need a scapegoat for Otto's death. Look to Martine Bauer. Why would he want to kill Otto? Martine didn't want to support Otto's little rebellion. He was quite happy with the way things were. Nothing changed recently. I think Otto learned something about Martine that Martine did not want to get out. It was dire enough to change Martine from resisting Otto to wholeheartedly supporting him in front of the town. Fortunate it is that you were eating with Werner and Baltus when the murder happened. What evidence is there? Find some. If Otto found out, others must know. At least have suspicions. Get down. He's there. See him? You lead, I'll follow. Am I supposed to aim? Missed me by inches. I heard the ball fly past my head. Better than hearing it hit the back of your skull. I'll admit, it's not the most accurate weapon. But it hit the target in the end. A privilege not getting my head blown off by my hunting partner. Oh, relax, Mailer. You're fine. Let's find the stag. You can't have gone far. Not dead yet. Gonna cut the throat. Like we both wounded it, but not enough. Easy enough to kill a dumb beast when it's helpless. Seems to take pleasure in overpowering helpless creatures. It is the nature of a wolf to feed upon sheep. You're a miller, you make flour. I'm a miller with a gun. Instant. 
a fatal blow. Now then, let's find a long stick to carry the deer. It's a good hunt. Thank you for coming with me. I'm with you hoping you would tell me something useful about Otto's death. Thank you for inviting me. We both have an interest in seeing this situation with the peasants resolve quickly. Think about that. What I said about Martine. I'll look into it. Glad to hear it. Look, Andreas Mailer. Martine was not there too, but it did skip my day. Pointing to Martine. Elsa. Oh, Master Mailer, do you have meal plans? My husband was hoping you'd eat with us. Right, I can't right now. Some other time then. Did get a nice deer. But there's still some stuff I have to do in the town too. Yes, this is like all of these dreams for this game go on longer than I want them to. Because there's so much that happens randomly. That was Andreas. Magdalene, still stupid. I wonder if the baby came out fine. I'm assuming Martine was... like... unfaithful, maybe? Cat, good to see you, Andreas. Hello, Cat. Martine seems different from how I remembered him. What changed? Right, he was still gone by the time he left Tassing. Returned several weeks later, like he always did. Was it his time? Or his, was it his travels or time that changed him? Only God knows the truth of a man's heart, but I suspect the challenges he faced on the road improved his memories of home. He wasn't stolen or anything, or he hasn't stolen or anything. He hasn't stolen anything or run off in years. Truly, the Lord provides for his faithful. Me and Otto were arguing the other day, do you know why? Were they? I'm sorry, Andreas, but I don't know anything about that. Martin supports Otto in his cause against the abbot's taxes. They didn't have any cause to fight. I don't know, Kat. Their argument was quite heated. Martin have any reason to hurt Otto? Of course not. They'd become close friends these past few years, like brothers. Even brothers quarrel. After Kranz died, God blessed me by returning my son to me, healed of his darkness. He giving thanks to the Lord that led Martin to the light. That the Lord led Martin to the light. I weren't blind to his flaws before, you know men like him don't change. Sure, I didn't mean to disturb you, I'm just trying to find out who really killed Otto. Trust me, Andreas, I know my own son. Martine would never do such a thing. Thank you for talking with me, Cat. Thank you for hearing me out. Till later, Andreas. Brigitta, do you know anything? Very a moment, Brigitta. I suppose, what do you need? So strange seeing Martine. What do you mean? Seems like he came back from his travels to chain pen. The time I was in Tassing, he ran off. Now he's back and I don't recognize him. I've been asked last time I saw him, but he seems changed now. He's grown up, Andreas. We all have. Is that so bad? Oh no, of course not. He did get into an argument with Otto where I was coming when I was coming into town though. What happened there? All the questions about my husband, Andreas. Trying to catch up on everything that's changed in Tassing. To figure out who murdered Otto. For any reason he might want to murder Otto. You're a poor liar. Damn it. For any reason someone might want to murder Otto. Otto was pressing Martin to support him in the town commons, Andreas. Martin has changed, but his history in this town is remembered. He doesn't want to cause more trouble. He didn't want to speak in the commons because he's afraid of the abbot. They squabble over it, that's all. Otto threatened Martine if he didn't cooperate. What was your husband so afraid Otto knew? Damn. Husband couldn't have changed that much. I know that Otto and Martine had quarreled, but that's all. Maybe you flew off the handle with Otto. You know what men are. Sorry, but I don't know anything about the matter. Please, I need to get back to work. 
course, until later. My team doesn't want to answer directly. Monica, Hedy, Hans, Johan. Chris, you and media to talk. Alright, what's on your mind? Why are you helping the Abbot? Know what he's been doing to our families. Because he's innocent. Peter is threatening the entire Abbey, not just the Abbot. Father Gruno may not be able to get a fair trial. Someone should defend him. Why does it have to be you? You live down here, you know what it's like. It hasn't been easy these past seven years you've been gone. I understand your anger toward the Abbot, but the monks don't deserve to die. And what do we deserve, Andreas? To starve? When's the last time you went hungry, Andreas? In the last month, I count more than... Not more lean days than full. If we weren't... If it weren't for Ulrich's charity, we wouldn't have any bread all this week. Sorry, Johan, but I have to do this. And the Abbot should answer for it, but not by burning the Abbey down. Alright, you know what? If you're dead set on this, I think I can point you towards someone. Really? Yes, really. My nephew, Martin. Really? Why? Because I don't think he's who he says he is. I don't think he's Martin at all. Why do you think that? We all see what we want to see here, Andreas. Things we do... Things we don't want to see, we ignore it as long as we can for everyone's sake. Don't say anything about Eva's pretty blonde hair. Gorg doesn't say anything about my daughter's friendship with Vegeta. Vegeta and Kat don't say anything about Martine. Strong Martine, hardworking Martine, faithful Martine. Oh. This is... He's leading on this Martine's partner. Martine actually died instead of him. Interchangeable into a very different man. So you think he's an imposter because he's too good? Do you have any evidence? No, there's suspicion and a reason to not trust the man. When the abbot decided to give us old Renig Kemper's land, there was a fee that we had to pay. We needed to expand, my brother and I couldn't say no. So the land went to both of us. After Franz's death, a portion went to Martin. I don't see any legal problems with that arrangement. There wouldn't be if Martin hadn't brought up the idea of selling off the lease. That or parceling it out to other families. It's complicated, but he'd be putting my land on the other side of someone else's. This whole arrangement works because we hold the land together. I know what the mob will do if they find out Martin's an imposter. Maybe. Anyway, if he's an imposter, he's sleeping with another man's wife, working on stolen land. Alright, consider it. Good. It's kind of insane if that's true. But he didn't. He doesn't like know anything about me. What well, makes sense? Peter. Clara. Ursula. Little Peter. Uh. Let's see. Andreas. Andreas, how did you pot up in another murder? Try not to do it, I swear. I think God wants me to solve murders instead of making art. There's like a bad way to put food on the table, but maybe you're right. Listen, Andreas, I can't talk any sense into Peter. I understand he's angry. We're all angry, but burning the abbot? Burning down the abbey? The Duke's soldiers will tear us tear the town apart. I'm doing what I can, Andrus. Peter won't listen to you. What makes you think I carry any more weight than him? I don't know. You lived with the man. I'm just worried. Worried for all of us. I understand. I'll talk to you later, Andrus. Until then. Go check up on Eva. Since I'm such a bad person at responding to deaths. Andreas, I'm so sorry, Eva. I knew something like this would happen. He believed in what he was doing. I know he was doing the right thing, but Andreas, I was so scared. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm sure, my sure your family can help you, Eva. We'll get through this, all of us. You have enough problems without needing to take care of me and a baby. 
the Orion trace. I'm just so tired. It's the last time you ate something, Eva. No, oh, I... I'm not sure. I should eat something for Ott's sake. Do you mind sitting with me? Can't right now, but I'll try to come back later. Alright, I understand. Thank you. That would be a nice thing to do, but I need to solve a murder right now. And this can wait. I need justice right now. Ulrich? Chris, it seems you're in the thick of another mystery again. It's not by my choosing, I swear. Good for you to take it on in any case, we need your help. Since we're angry. Even if what you and Kaspar said about the abbot makes sense, they don't want to hear it. Too easy to blame Father Gurno for Otto's murder. Do you know anything about who might have killed Otto? Andreas, if I knew anything, I'd tell you. I'd tell Peter. I'm critical of the abbot, but I still owe the man. But I still love the man. I still love all of the brothers and sisters at Curso. I don't want to see them harmed by any... Any more than you do. If I see or hear anything that could help, you'll be the first person I tell. Thank you, Ulrich. The least I can do. Keep faith, Andreas. Trust in Providence. We are all in God's hands. Brett? Anna? North Town, site of the murder. Paralog Rat House construction will be delayed now. Oh, that's a double whammy though. Shut down the rebellion and delay the people's power in the government. Up Werner. Unfortunate name you have. Talk with Balthazar. Greetings, Andreas. You have arrived at the ideal moment. Alright, less than ideal, considering Otto's recent death. Place right outside your house. You truly didn't catch anything that would be useful to my investigation? Alas, as said, Werner and Lenhart and I were engaged in a stimulating debate when we heard the crash outside. I only saw a figure flee, but unfortunately I have no useful details on whoever it may have been. Hope you find a lead, for I have severe doubts about the involvement of the abbot in this gruesome affair. Meanwhile, I am drawing close to the final design of my latest invention. As such, I would very much like to hear your thoughts on it. Of course, you asked me to come share ideas. Splendid. I've been devising something most unique. Come. At present, we have a problem. Peasants suffer under harsh conditions. Do you agree? That's what they've been saying. I'm not that certain, though. Life isn't easy for anyone. They do not have it easy. No. They toil constantly, but achieve little over bare substance. Subsistence? They are then taxed heavily. The peasants grow angrier, hence the nascent troubles across all the lands. So I've devised a tool to lessen their drudgery. Here, take a look at the schematic. Behold the plow. In front of it, an automaton. Man or beast? It matters little, dragging the plow behind it. Have you seen any artificial people before? The most complex mechanism I've seen is the Orlo and Prague. Sadly, it wasn't functional during my visit. Truly a shame. I have not visited it either, though I hope to one day. So you understand of which I speak. The intricacies of machinery. Gears within gears. Symmetric coils turning a shaft system that leads to the gearing mechanism. Controls that are quite complex, but allow for it to follow a predetermined path. It toils, so the peasant does not have to. Would it have enough strength to plow through the soil? Power output may need tuning, you are correct. The universe reveals itself through the minute intricacies of clockwork. There are still a few imperfections to work out, but I can feel I am on the correct path. Tell me, Andreas, what do you think? Be truthful. There be no progress without truth. Honestly, it's shit. It's great. Really? You think so? Are you saying that to spare my feelings? I know it is not true, Andreas. I was just afraid to admit I failed again. My father would not approve. 
father is also an inventor? He is, with a sharp mind and a sharper tongue if need be. Why did you leave in the first place? I had to prove myself to my father, I suppose, and maybe... My father had attempted to arrange for me a marriage. I did not feel ready. It's not so bad once you get used to it. Try to evade it. It's a curse sent by man by a most malevolent force. I'd have thought it providence so that no one has to be alone. But with Eve on his side, I feel so. I'd rather be alone. If anyone, it is the work of Satan. Eve was the temptress who led to the fall of man, after all. Forgive me for being foolish, but I have often found it questionable how Adam does not hold any responsibility for his own actions. And if God's divine providence governs the world, does that not also apply to Adam and Eve? In any case, there is so much more I have to learn. My inventions would not have been as successful as I would like. Perhaps it's because you are lacking the correct frame of mind. What do you mean? Your inventions so far amount to so little. You must change your approach. Sales, Baltus. Your invention is only useful if you can turn it into a flow of profit. Think bigger, Baltus. Reach higher. You must have more ambition. A lofty goal. Consider the aesthetic the substance that emerges from the harmony of paints. He tried military applications as Leonardo did, he invented many weapons. And then no lack of funds, my friend. The investments I made in many companies hold off any worries. Progress is not about profit, it is about the betterment of mankind. I thank you, Andreas. I invited you to exchange thoughts and you have proven most valuable. This conversation has given me much to consider. Nearly forgotten, our mutual friend Werner invited me to dinner. Why don't you and your assistant come along? I'm sure you wouldn't mind. You would hate it. Another time, perhaps. And I don't want to be in Werner's house. He just murdered somebody. But for now, I think it's prudent to start wrapping it up. Not looking good, is it? I warned you there'd be blood. I could happen sooner than I thought. So you did. Let's find the real killer before things go worse. Otto didn't deserve this, he was an honest man with a good cause. Nobody deserves to die like this. Best you get on solving this, Andreas. The unrest bodes ill. Peasants are about to do something foolish. Why haven't you told them about the secret entrance to the library? I don't always see eye to eye with Peter and the rest, but I don't want to see them all killed. They got into the library, I don't wish to imagine what they do. Soldiers would strike back and there'd be a massacre in Tassin. Who is but to stop them? Do you have any thoughts on who might have done this? No. Otto's got... Otto had a few conflicts, but nobody I'd call an enemy. Best of luck to you, Andreas. You don't have much time. Yes, I can't... talk. Right now, I need to watch over Rachel. Hmm. All right, did we ever find the flower? Oh no, right. It was probably in the, the hovel. But let's, uh. Oh, shrine's open. Sisters out and about. Bless you, Andreas. They took the hand away. Let me see if I can't investigate. The required used to contain the hand of St. Moritz appears to be missing, though. I wonder where it's gone. Is bet. God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, sister. How are you faring? Mother Illuminata is grieved to hear about Otto's death, as am I. The Lord granted me the gift of knowledge and grief, so I will help the sisters how I can. Heavy burden to carry. Not so, Master Mailer. It was by my losses that I found this life. As Christ said, 
For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Oh, I can guide the sisters in their grief. Pray your counsel soothes their spirits. As do I, Master Mailer. God bless you. And you, sister. Matilda. God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, Sister Matilda. I wanted to thank you, Master Mailer. I don't recall doing anything worthy of thanks, sister. I understood that despite what happened to me at the hands of the Baron, you did not condemn me. I appreciate that. Archdeacon surveyed the evidence. I merely spoke the truth as I saw it. Yes, well, the entire event was a tragedy. I did not expect to see you again. I am glad the Lord gave me a chance to thank you properly. Not to get back to work. God bless you. And you, sister. Sophie. God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, Sister Sophie. It's good to see you again. And you, Master Mailer. The garden looks spectacular. You've taken good care of it. I know it's been some time, Master Mailer, but I must remind you of my vows. I cannot speak with men. Right, forgive me, sister. God bless you, Master Mailer. B. Priores. Illuminata. But I was hoping you would come by. Hello, Mother Illuminata. Did you need me for something? Yes, though I was hesitant to distract you from your investigation. I do not often leave the confines of your cell, even in the best of times. These are decidedly not. I hope in any way I can. God bless you. As our brothers are trapped in the library, it is unlikely they have received any nourishment. Can't the sisters just take food to them? The sisters aren't comfortable moving in the men's areas, even when there are only monks present. Now peasants have overrun the abbey, they've looted the sacristy and drank most of the sacramental wine. I suppose that would be intimidating. I don't believe the peasants will be violent toward the sisters, but I can't take any chances. I need you to escort them through the crypt and up to the brothers. Yes, the secret entrance to the library. Do you remember it well enough? Good thing the peasants haven't found it. The sisters will say it needs to be tended to after the mayhem that transpired there. Escort them and the food to the brothers in the library and return when you are finished. May be able to do this for you, but not now. Understand that time is limited, but the brothers could use your, use your help. You can spare an hour or two at your next meal. The sisters will be ready, just let me know. Of course, Mother Illuminata. God bless you. Fortunately, Mother Illuminata. Kind of nothing I can do there. Don't get me anything. It's a dinner. Fuck. Marguerite, God bless you, Master Mailer. Hello, Sister Marguerite. Mr. Gertrude said one of the townsfolk was killed. What happened? Otto Zimmerman, the town's carpenter, was crushed by a part of the construction at the rat house. Oh no. I heard some of the sisters saying it was a murder and the peasants chased the monks into the library. Mr. Zidena even said they're accusing Father Abbott. Is that true, Master Mailer? Yes, but it couldn't have been the Abbott. I'm trying to find out who really killed Otto. Pray you do, Master Mailer. Everyone's getting scared. Sister Sophie last night crying. Mother Illuminata says God will persevere something. Maybe the Lord is punishing the Abbey. Why would God want to punish Kirsau, sister? Everything happening in Swabia that I don't think that I everything happening happening in Swabia that I don't think God needs to punish. I think that's just incorrect. I don't think the abbot should treat the peasants harshly, but I don't know what to think anymore. Or you'll be safe in the convent's walls, whatever happens. Don't know, Master Mailer. People keep showing up in places they don't belong. What do you mean? Well, a man ran into me when I was washing lettuce in the herb a few days ago. That's so strange. Yes, even in a joint monastery, the sisters' and brothers' quarters are separated. I have been in the church since it was almost Vespers. Who was it, sister? Can you describe him? Strange indeed. Do you remember anything about him? I'll do my best, even though the night was dark. He was a man because his figure was taller than any of the sisters, and he grunted when he bumped into me. 
be one of our suspects, Master. Perhaps. Recognize his voice. No, he didn't say anything, but I felt the texture of one of the habits when he bumped into me. His skin was softer too, and he was knocked back when we collided. He grabbed me and moved me out of the way. No beard either. What would a brother be doing in the herbal hut? I don't know. He started... Startled me. I was in and out of the hut before I could call out. Bang things around too. I think it was one of the younger brothers. The rest aren't light on their feet. I can hear them shuffling all the way across the garden. There are few suspects. Brother Lucas and Brother Guy both fit that description, as does the abbot. But the abbot was, has his own house. Why would he be doing sneaking around in the herb hut? Right, Brother Gurno would just order one of the other brothers to get something for him anyway. Master Mailer. How cheeky. At least Lucas or Guy. I may, Master Mailer. Yes, Sister Marguerite. Brother Lucas and I are friends. I don't think he'd hide from me. Who's Brother Guy? Guy's young enough to be in and out in a flash, but Sister Marguerite, what was he doing here? I don't know, Master Mailer. I couldn't tell what he was doing or if he took anything. By the time I realized what happened, Sister Sophie came and got me for supper. Purely a recurrence. Thought it strange, especially since it was close to evening prayers. Might be able to help you identify which herb jars he grabbed. I'll get her blessing first, though. She's a stickler about her herbs. Help me find her. Poor sister. Sister Gertrude, may I take Master Mailer into the herb hut? You're looking for anything that man might have left behind. Ah, your mystery intruder. Why are you so interested, Andreas? I think Brother Guy was rooting around. He may have left something. I'd like to see whoever left. I'd like to see if whoever it was left anything behind that could be connected to Otto's murder. Very well. I'd prefer you not just open every jar, however. Some of the herbs need to remain sealed. How are we supposed to figure out if he left anything? I know the jars by sound. You gently shake them, Master Mailer. Should be able to tell you which ones he picked up as he came in. No, he used three of the jars. Once we find all three, we can figure out which the last one he opened. Sounds reasonable. This way, then. Oh yes, I need to take that jar up to the abbey. What is it? An ointment for the abbot made it worth. That one, it's for his scabies. I'm always making it. Uses a lot of it. Something different. So much of that one. We need a lot of calendula to tend to so many people. Its juices expel most bad humors. Pounding the juices makes my hands sticky. Stickiness can be washed away, Sister Marguerite. Wound work. I remember the physician laying these leaves on Brother when he had smallpox. Yes, that's one of the more common uses for wound work. Drives the humors back into the body, no matter how they arrive on the skin. What about this one? Oh, Facilium. We don't use that one often, save for terrible fevers. I smell that one from here. Well, that's the licorice root. Sometimes it overpowers the other herbs nearby, and I can't identify them by scent. Something different. Yes, 
lung wart. Very useful herb. Sister Lisbeth once came down with humor so terrible she could barely breathe. But when Sister Gertrude gave her wine with lung wart, her got better. Praise God. Yes, he definitely picked up that one. Okay, what is this one? Yeah, I gotta investigate them first. Brook Lime, very useful against poisons. Purges the stomach so that bad humors have no place to rest in the body. That one's so small. That one holds poppy seeds. The seeds are potent when eaten to induce sleep, so we don't use them often. I remember eating some before my eye surgery. I was woozy for a long time afterward. Careful not to open the nettle, Andreas. Nettle? That stuff sings. Why keep a jar of it? Wouldn't be surprised if you'd eat it in yourself, Gaspar. The dried leaves lose their sting. Whenever the horses are unwell, we mix nettle with the lovage. And they're right there's rain the next day. Oh, sinkwood. Five leafed. Yes, that's how the plant gets its name. I keep it as paste. The flour and oil to break beavers. Ah, uh, mugwort. Brother Matthew has a soft stomach, so we make quite a bit of it into cakes for him. Bertram. Well, you should take some of this before you go into the cities, Andreas. The fever few. Here's the flam of the head quite effectively. That stuff, it's gross, but Sister Gertrude makes everyone at Kursau eat it. You've been well because of it. Honestly, I think we could do with a bit more of it in our meals. Ish. I'll get through these eventually. Yes, that reminds me, I'll need to make more... Tithful solve soon? I'm not familiar with this herb. Not surprised you're a healthy man, Andreas. Used for gout and arthritis and memory problems. Mother Thomas comes to get some for Sister Emily every now and then. Oh, Bethany, I'm surprised to see that herb among your jars, sister. What's use is, Andreas? Spread of its abilities in darker matters, that's why I'm surprised to see it here. Better safe in the convent here than rather... Rather than have Agnes try to use it without holy waters nearby. Keep a jar because it can be good remedy against such magic when used correctly. Oh, oh. Hurry up. Oh. This tiny ass one. That one's empty. I like this one, Andreas. It's woad. Well, that creates the most exquisite blue ink. I didn't realize you grew it here. We have a small supply, not for ink though. Brother Adok can't hold a quill as steadily as he once could. Make an ointment with that woad that keeps it, helps with his palsy. God damn it! Mandragora. Some choose to use the mandrake for evil arts, but these have all been cleansed. Only Sister Gertrude handles the mandrakes. With good reason, too. I only use them for pains that can't be rid of any other way. Yes, he definitely picked up the mandragora. I'll spill that one. It's made for an... I just made a new batch of hydromel, so it's very full. Use it as a base for many remedies, so I'm always making more. I want to drink, too. Nicer than the wine we have at supper. And that one. Ill. Very good when cows are ill, but a bit much for us unless cooked. Pick up that one. Master Mailer, please shake each jar in order. I'll tell you if it makes the right sound. Ah, oh, the hemlock. We only keep a little bit of it around. A little bit can make you terribly sick if eaten. However, 
reduces intimation of the body when it leaves. Bite on an injury. Off sister Sophie when she dropped the pot on her thumb. The swelling had gone down by the next morning. Open a different jar first. That was the first. I think that was the second jar. Yep, that's the right drawer. Wonderful, it seems like it's still sealed. Quite heavy. Let's see what's inside. Oh my. What? What is it? That's a lot of money. Brother Guy was hiding all this in the herb hut, but why? Brother Guy, he's in charge of the treasury. Why would he need to put all this here? Not sure, but it's definitely suspicious. We could do some more investigating. Anyway, thank you both for your help. That was a lot. But apparently Guy is a thief. Included everything in here too. Orium and Tabernacle probably belong to the Abbey for centuries. Still look around to see if anything is left. Journal. I mean, guys, let's, let's take a look. I don't understand any of this. income, mostly donations from pilgrims, it's not much. These are the Abbey's expenses, some of these numbers are awfully high. And, there's gotta be more. Oh. Wait a minute, I think I see now. Forest guy uses double bookkeeping. I use the same for the accounts at home. Abby is struggling to make ends meet, but the accounts seem to balance out. Page is not part of the ledger. It's just a sheet of parchment with a few notes, but why is it tucked away in this ledger like this? I hang on to it just in case. Something doesn't feel right. Abby Litcher. These fucking peasants. Fabian, go as you please, Andreas, but stay out of the library. Peter's orders. Free to wander, Andreas, but stay out of the library. Peter's orders. Brother Guy's old desk, why are there still supplies here? Mostly writing tools and parchment inside, except... What's this? Those lemons and a pen knife? Lemon juice can be used as disappearing ink. I wonder if guys hidden anything on that bit of parchment we found in the ledger. It's the candle on this desk to check. 
You know, the page above the fire, we might find something. Oh. oh, there is something. I don't see anything. Oh, I gotta burn it in. That's cool. That annunciation guy was stealing from the Abbey. In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds. As much as my father makes in months. Sending it to the account of an Augsburger man who is depositing it for the buggers. Prominent, extremely wealthy banking family in Augsburg. Held business interests throughout the free imperial cities and a monopoly on the European copper market. If Otto knew about this, I would certainly have motivation to silence him. At the very least, it's evidence we can use to show Guy was sending skimmed money through his proxy account in Augsburg. So Guy wasn't the one. Or... Rather, uh, Bruno wasn't the one. That's all I can do. So I'm gonna do this. Oh, I need more time. Lame. And then what can I do? I guess I deliver the food. Stealing from the Abbey. I think Martin is the murderer. He might be. I 
This will take food to the monks, maybe. They're just giving it up. I'll do it. My god, this place is messy. What have they done? I don't know about this. No one is supposed to be in the church. What are you doing in here? Clean up some of your mess. That's supposed to mean. You need to clean up the crypt and say prayers for the abbots and abbesses buried there. I mean, you haven't looted all their tombs as well. But, uh, I mean, Peter told me not to let anyone in the church. We're storming the monastery, now stopping the sisters from doing their ordained duty. You're trying to put your soul at risk, Carl. Not fair, Andreas. You know the abbot is putting us all at risk by keeping the holy relic from us. Lord instructs us to forgive and turn the other cheek. How can you desecrate the church? Even Jesus overturned tables in the temple when leaders went against God, Master Mailer. Sorry, Andreas, I can't. Damn. Sorry, I wasn't able to be more help. Presents are more determined than Mother Illuminata thought. Others will have to hold on for now and let Mother Illuminata know. Good luck with your investigation. What a waste. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Probably not much I can do during the night. I can sneak in right now. I think the grip was scared from the looting. Adok, who's there? But you, Lord, come to claim my soul. Andreas, brother Adok. Dear boy, are you ill? I'm fine. The escape to the library left me out of breath. It aches a heavy heart, but it will pass if God wills it. I won't help you, Florian, or... Do not concern yourself with me, Andreas. The others. Make sure the others are well. Fine, you're the one who might be dying. In the hands of the Lord. You must rest. Holding on, Brother Adok. God bless you, Andreas. Does anything new come to light in the investigation of Otto's death? I'll speak with you urgently about Brother Guy. Now is not really the time to discuss the enmity between you, Andreas. Well, you do not care for each other, but it's hardly appropriate. Guy has been stealing from the Abbey. Pardon me, I must not have heard you right. It's been obscuring it in the ledger, but the evidence is there. In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds and sent it to the Fuggers in Augsburg. At, at. How did you learn this? Found a receipt in the back of the Abbey's ledger written in lemon juice. Otto somehow knew about this. I can't think Brother Guy would have killed him. He absolutely would. I won't believe it. Not Brother Guy. He doesn't have the disposition. He snide at times, but... Kill a man. Andreas, no. I don't think violence of that kind is in his nature. I know his heart. You couldn't have made a mistake. Are you certain? They're not the kinds of mistakes I make. No, no, no. I suppose not. It never ends, does it? These times are dark, Andreas. Even with the Lord's light to guide us, I do not know how we will go on when this is through. There's little I can do about this now. But should we survive the coming days? Consequences for Brother Guy will be dire. Never does end, Drew. This game never ends. I'm going like an hour over. Whatever you think of me and my intentions, I do care about you so. We have not always seen to eye to eye. Seen eye to eye, but I have never doubted your care for this place. And that, at least we are aligned. 
One final thing, have you spoken with him about this? No, not yet. So he doesn't know he's been found out. Very well. But with God now, more than ever. He was well Father Gruno. Maybe he's not as much of an asshole as I thought. Maybe it's all been but brother guy. You asshole. You told Gruno. Oops. You are a true bastard, Andreas Mailer, and you deserve the very worst of what's coming to you. I haven't been stealing from peasants. Brother Guy, I'd like to think we've been on reasonably good terms until now. Maybe, but you're not going to live to see it happen. We'll all see what Peter and the boys think about all this. And go tell them, asshole. Frantic. Might as well, since you've already ruined my life here. Do not speak to me again. Why do I care? You're probably the worst person in this town. There's a lot of bad people here. Andreas Mailer, I am as always glad to see you, but surely you have put yourself at risk by sneaking in here. You cannot keep yourself out of danger and trouble, can you? There's trouble that finds me, not the opposite. Though it may seem, but you've ought to trust in Providence. It's your wits that we need once again, and so God has delivered you here. Still, I must ask, why have you come to the library? I wanted to see how you're all holding up. You're not out of danger if that is what you have in mind. Peasants are on edge and we are stuck. Such is the brutal nature of the rustic. Here truly, they want more violence. They may not be trained soldiers, but it does not take much military acumen to burn down a building full of books. If they hurt the abbot or damage the abbey, the duke's armies will not show leniency. Believe me, a direct confrontation with the real soldiers will end in a slaughter. I've said much about the peasants, but what about you and your brothers? Oh, I am well, Andreas. I have been through worse. The Battle of Cosmin, the Siege of Dornick Castle, death and suffering. Too much of that, perhaps, for a young mind. Long enough ago by now, here, others will hold my attention. I worry about Falkford and Rudger. They are gentle people, not able to withstand this terror and violence. I am especially worried about Adok. I tried talking to him, he didn't look good. He's old and frail and his health has grown worse since we fled here. There are marks of pains of the chest. I'm cut off from my tools and were it not for were it not so, I am unsure of what might help against his affliction. Perhaps Salvia Salvatrix Apoverse Somniferum? Somnicant. Could help, but I have to solve Otto's. I'm willing to do what I can to help. You're of good heart, Andreas. Asking Sister Gertrude might be the most prudent in this case. She knows the plants best. Be safe, Andreas. I can't keep extending this. God keep you safe, Master Mailer. Mulkbert. Mulkbert, it's going to be alright. How can you know that, Lucas? Trust in Providence, brother. The Lord guides us through. Gethsemane? They are going to hurt us. They won't. Look, Andreas is here. He will help. Lucas, Volkbert, yes. I will help any way I can. All looking better already, Volkbert. God has sent us a mediator. I don't want to die. You're not going to. We all will. Volkbert, peace and calm. Think of the heavenly realms above us, where angels sing praise to our lord every day. Will I join them if I die? We all join the choir, one day. But you won't die here, Volkbert. Listen to Andreas, he will help us. Stay safe, brothers. I'll try to solve this mess before anyone else gets hurt. Have either of you seen Brother Guy doing anything odd around the abbey? That I can remember, but I'm usually busy in the kitchen. Many brothers to feed, after all. Maybe. I did see him going to the abattoir the other day, near Vespers. Had a book with him. Nothing strange about seeing Brother Guy with a boon book, but he doesn't go into the abattoir. Doesn't even go into the animal pens. That's work for me and Brother Waslov. Thank you, Brother Volkbert. Is that helpful? This me for Brother Guy. No need to worry. I appreciate the help. Save us. And... Waslov? Oh, Brother Wasloff, do you have a moment? Of course, Andreas, what do you need? Ask about Brother Guy. What about him? 
You may be stealing from the Abbey's treasury. Grace has a grave accusation. Do you have any evidence to support this assertion? Sister Marguerite heard him rustling about in the sister's herb hut, and we found a large sack of coins. Sister Marguerite is blind, Andreas. He likely ran into one of the sisters. What would brother guy even be doing in the sister's garden? I'm trying to figure out. Sister Marguerite knew it was him. Recognized his voice. Hiding money in the sister's herb hut, but I don't know why. Several of the brothers were affronted when he demanded, demanded Father Gurno reveal the Abbey's financial record. But for Guy to be hiding money... Just tell me so I have something to tell Peter. Can implicate one of the brothers in Otto's death? No, Andreas, not for your convenience. Look at this. I ain't reading that. Brother, Brother Rudger, what is that poem? Brother, can you hear me? This is an old song from his home, Andreas. I think it soothes him. I like it. A song meant for times of need. I believe we are in need at this time. I worry about Brother Rudger. He has been deep in prayer ever since we fled into the library. All this violence and strife does not conform with his gentle soul. Don't worry, Brother Rudger, it will be alright. It has to be tough for, tough for Brother, this is a harsh world. Yeah, I bet should have known something like this could happen. Really care for him, don't you? Kind and thoughtful man. Who wouldn't? You'll find who killed Otto, won't you? Have to, there's too much at stake. See, I told you. Brother Ruger, why don't you sing for the others to hear? The others? Yes, all your brothers. They're the Cantor, yours is the voice that leads them. I don't know. You can do it. I believe in you and Matthew believes in you. We all do. Alright, I suppose I can try. Sugar face around me again, guy. If I was in my Zord, you would have been sliced in half. And exploded. Man, this is running on too long. Now I gotta talk to this chick about the fucking herbs. He's probably asleep. in the shrine. Nope. I assume that's all I can do right now. I hope that's all I could do. Cause I need to end this. What is the quest right now? I 
think Adok's gonna die though. I don't think there's anything else I can do to help him. Unfortunate though. Adok was kind of a dickhead too, but he was a dickhead to Guy, and Guy deserves it. Damn. That's probably where you find out the murderer, for real. I'm surprised Smokey didn't know anything. Seems like the guy that would know something. But I'm kinda done with it, so... Looks like I have no one else I can talk to. Killian. Nico. What about you, Samuel? Nope. Nothing. So I went an hour over. Hopefully I don't have to do a Mind Palace thing. Hello, Master Mailer. Anything I can do for you? Nothing. Set to bed. Let's go. Finally. Damn. Andreas, get up. Wake up your boy, too. Why, what's happened now? We're finishing this. You're needed in the commons now. Let's go. You'll be ask we'll be asking good questions, Mailer. Get trust and be along. Espar. Get up. Master Andreas. What's going on? It's the middle of the night. Something's happening in the commons. Peter and the others want us there. We'll be all. We'll be all right, Master Andreas. Peter seems upset, but we should be fine. All right now that everyone's here, we can start. Start what? Holding a trial for Otto's murder. You're the one with the evidence. Decided a Femic Court is the best way to handle this. Westphalia? He doesn't know what that is. Wait for judge ourselves to open up for a trial. People pounce on any hit of rebellion. We can't let this get too far. People of Bavaria don't have the authority to pass blood justice. Why not, Mailer? Just have a means of ex executing justice. What have you found? We're all waiting. Barely had a day to investigate, it can hardly come to a conclusion so soon. Let her fucking decide, Mailer. Or you can watch that damned Abby go up in flames. Be quiet. I have a woman in labor right next door, this behavior is shameful. If she loses her child because of this fighting, will be on your souls. Agnes is right. I know you want justice for my husband, for your friend. I don't want things to get worse than they already are. Give Andreas a little more time. Fine. Andreas, you've got until that baby is born. After that, we'll claim our justice. Best mailer. The right decision, Peter. Oh. Kristen, good evening. Customary and testing that the people gather in commons for the middle of the night. What needs to be done when it needs to be done? Who's asking? My name is Tristan von Braunberg, here on behalf of the Duke of Bavaria. The Duke is aware that you have been disturbing, distributing, and discussing the 12 articles. He's also aware that you have been disputing conditions of taxation and land use within the Abbot of Crusoe. Duke is merciful, he does not seek to punish Tassing for these disputes. His mercy has limits. 
The Duke has become aware that you have imprisoned the abbot for and monks of Kirsel within the abbey. The insult is rebellion. This is rebellion for this. There can be neither tolerance nor mercy. You have until sunset tomorrow to vacate Kirsel Abbey and release the abbot and all monks. If this is not done. The Duke's soldiers will enter the town and the abbey in force. Turn as night follows day, they will kill every man and boy who stands in their way. Never wanted to threaten the abbot, sir. He wouldn't listen to our demands. We're starving. Such efforts were necessary since the town townsfolk are also suffering under the abbot's increased taxes. The duke is aware of the town's complaints and funds some merit in them. He believes some conclusion can be made regarding the death, death tax and use of the forest for food. Would. Other, of course, only under the strict condition that the abbot is released unharmed. What do the peasants get? What about our taxes? What about the right to use woods for grazing, for fishing? The duke is unwilling to make additional concessions. You can release the abbot and take what is offered, or you can remain defiant and face the consequences. We'll yield you little, save steel and fire. One set tomorrow. Straight to Prime. Alright, that was autosave uh, thing popping up, so... Finally, wrap this up. I don't know why the chat's cleared, but thank you, Saren, for pulling up. Went a little long today, but... Next stream tomorrow, Monster Hunter same time. I'll be there then. Till next time team, peace.